Hi, Vatsano. How you guys doing? Uh, we are playing... Oh, my... Wait, it does have music. Never mind. <laughs> we are playing I Remember the Stream. When I first loaded it up, I swear it didn't have any sounds. Uh, we are playing I Remember the Stream and many other indie horror games today because uh, I got a full list lined up. We're going to see how many games we get to finish. I particularly wanted to start off with this game. Oh, my God. It's a little loud because the title is uh, amazing. Very smart title. It makes my brain go hmm what's this game all about i want to see that uh it's a short game uh we got a lot of short games today uh, i think after this we might play moth house so uh <laughs> warning to everyone who has a fear of moths you're gonna not want to watch the next one <laughs> I know there's quite some people. Venom, thank you for the seven months. King of Schwing, thank you for the 12 months. Uh, but anyway, we're just going to hop straight in, have a great time. Let's go say hi, YouTube. And hop in, baby. Here we go. Hi, YouTube. How are you doing? And welcome to I Remember This Dream. This is a very old game. It's literally more than seven years old. But the reason that I wanted to play it is purely because of the title. I Remember This Dream might be one of the best titles for a horror game I've ever heard. So I've kept myself as blind as possible because I just wanted to experience what this game was like. And I hope you join us for that. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time and let's see what this dream is all about let's go all righty turn up the volume again hopefully it's not gonna be too loud here we go oh my god start probably gonna be loud oh what um i'm in the middle of a forest a clearing in the snow oh this is a dream am i dreaming i've already been here have we though uh, I don't see anything at all. I guess I'm just gonna walk towards the forest. Uh, I hope I uh, didn't... Oh god, I don't know where to go. I'm just gonna walk to the trees. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, are we... I now see this dream every night. Dude, I love the sounds. This is Slenderman. I've never actually dreamt of, like, walking in the forest. And every night has become a real nightmare for me, webbed from intertwined tree branches stretching out into the dark, endless sky. I'm gonna turn down the volume slightly, sorry, give me a sec. It's a little, little too loud. Hopefully this is fine. Oh boy. Uh, do I just run through? Oh, I can actually run too? Oh no. There are very few sounds in this world, but there is one, this one that scares me the most. The sound of bells ringing from far away and leading me through the maze of this nightmare. I heard a sound over here. I heard a bell. Uh-oh. Oh, I can hear it. It's over here. Oh, God. Dude, what, what, what? <laughs> So how little you have to do to scare a human being, huh? Just have a forest with some creepy uh, animal noises in the distance. I try to walk very fast, but at the same time, very carefully stepping on the snow in order not to disturb the surrounding silence. Oh, I know I'm going the right way. We're going to the bell. The forest disappeared. I kind of feel more safe in the forest. I'm going to stick to this part. I don't like this open area. Oh, baby. Oh, God. Hello there. Is anyone here with me? It would seem that in order to make it not look so horrible, one should make noise as much as possible. Shout, laugh, and talk with yourself. But the sound of your own voice may drown out other sounds. The sound of a barely heard imminent threat and fear hiding in the shadows. Is that what's right behind me? Because it kind of sounds like it. What the heck? <laughs> Uh-oh. Anyone trying to sleep at night? Trying to sleep tonight? Not me. Oh, God. Ding dong. I definitely hear twigs breaking, which is a little suspicious because there's no twigs on the ground at all. It's just snow. Lindsay, thank you for the gift subs. What the heck? Listening attentively to the squeaky sound of snow under my feet as I walked, I could barely breathe. And sound, and only prayed not to hear footsteps behind me. Uh oh. They, they did a very good job on the footstep sound in the snow. Also, it snowed today and yesterday. 
in the Netherlands, which is crazy. I now remember everything. The snow, the forest, the blistering cold. However, I know that once I wake up, this cold world immediately disappears from my memory. The dream disappears. What the hell? But always returns to next night. Did you see that? What the heck was that? Wait, we have to go again? <laughs> Wait, what the hell? <laughs> Excuse me? Do I load or do I start? Wait, what? Is this gonna be different? I've already been here. Yes, we literally just did it. Wait, there was something in the trees. What the heck? <laughs> I now see this dream every night. Did I miss it? It disappeared. Did I? Oh, Red Witch, thank you as well. What the heck? Thank you guys so much. And every night has become a real nightmare for me. Webbed from intertwined tree branches stretching out into the dark, endless sky. I, there was definitely something running in the trees. There are very few sounds in this world, but there's this one that scares me the most. The sound of bells ringing from far away and leading me through the night, to the, through the maze of this nightmare. Okay, do you think about the five gifts of us as well? Thank you guys. I mean, there's actual like environments around here. We didn't see this last time. Is this is procedurally generated. Can I walk on the ice? Or am I gonna fall in the water? Oh god! The dream disappears, but always returns the next night. Okay, <laughs> there's many ways to end this dream, I see. Let's try again. <laughs> I love this, okay. Can we load? No, we just start again. Okay, okay, okay. Don't die. If we die in the dream, we wake up. I've already been here. Yes, we have. Okay, I'm just gonna walk this direction. Now see this dream every night. Gonna run as fast as I possibly can. And every night has become a real nightmare. I do have a stamina bar, actually. A built-in stamina bar. Don't don't look at the bodies in the water. I used to listen to these SCP narrations. Really creeping me out. Is the bell just in a different place every time? What if I just stand there? What if you just stay standing still until you get killed? That would totally not be a bad idea, huh? It's going over here. I hear the creaky. There's definitely something after me. Oh, wait, I'm going f completely the wrong way. Excuse me. Hello? You see this glitching in the distance? I hope that's just a video glitch and not actually people running around. This is very nerve-wracking. I'm going away from the bell? What's going on? I'm like being led in circles. Is this way, right? Yes, I'm going straight to it. Ding, we're going the right- It sounds like it's further away now. Jenny, thank you for the 100 bitties. The trees are getting denser. The uh, grass wasn't here before. Oh, don't do that. So wait, if we get captured by whatever is in the forest, we, we die and wake up, right? We have to avoid whatever it is. Uh, don't do that. Don't do that. I really hate that. Oh my god, that gave me shivers. What the fuck? Did you hear that? There's floating trees even. It's a magical forest. Oh my god. What's this? I try to walk very fast, but at the same time very carefully stepping in the snow in order not to disturb the surrounding silence. You already set this? What the heck is this? Is this a well? I think it's a well. Okay, I think I might have to run because whatever's behind me is gonna catch up. Oh god. I'm hearing these these like very very audible cracks of, of leaves or of twigs and leaves. Run. Oh god, it's right here. It's right next to me. Run. Dude, if I had dreams like this, I'd never sleep again. I am very lucky not to have many nightmares, which is kind of crazy to think that I play horror games every day. 
It would seem that in order to make it not look... Oh, God. There's someone. The sound of your own voice may drown out other sounds. The sound of a barely heard imminent threat hiding in the tree. Shadows. Okay, so here... Now, now we are being attacked. But we are close to the bell. We need to make it. I need to listen. Listening attentively to the squeaky sound of snow under my feet as I walked, I could barely breathe and only prayed not to hear footsteps behind me. Okay, we gotta run. Run. This is how far we got last time. I now remember everything. The snow, the forest, the blistering cold. However, I know that once I wake up, this cold world would immediately disappear from my memory. Oh! Oh! Did you see it? What the fuck was that? Something was coming for me. I is gone? What the fuck? That was awesome. Terrifying, but awesome. Oh God. Just run. It's, it's still after me. The house. We made it. This is where the bell is coming from. Just go in. What? We made it? Hello? Uh oh. Oh no, we're never leaving. <laughs> it's, it's, it, don't, don't come in, don't come in, don't come in, don't come in. But this place is not just a figment of my imagination. I've been here in real life. What? don't have a flashlight it's so dark i mean it will be dark at night uh how do i get out of here do i even want to get out of here i can't see shit oh over here oh the bell is now in a different place very i listen for the bell <gasps> what's over there kind of cool uh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to the bell. I don't want to leave the house, but I have to. Oh. I'm pretty sure this game was free, by the way, if you want to scare the shit out of your friends. Oh, God. I can't remember everything. Dreams and reality don't intersect. You could see only the dream world while dreaming, but it's all different in the real world. I heard something. Let's go. <laughs> Only some snatches of my memory, which in some way pass through the boundary between dream and reality, give me confidence that I'm in a dream. I don't like that. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? It was right behind me. They are small snatches of my memory from the past. Just, just run. Oh, God! No! Oh, it's gone. Wait, oh, it's still there. I have no sprint. God. Dude, dude, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. It's right there. I was 12 and then I and studied in seventh class. The regional school was located very far from the village where I lived with my parents. It was some hours walk to the school. Uh, there's someone standing. Oh no, never mind. Is it gone? No, it's still there. It's still there. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's very dark. But there's something right by me. You see it? Am I going the right way? Please ding. No dings? Oh, okay, this way. Oh, God. I think we can outrun it, though. Wait, we're back here? Oh, no. It's just a tree. Just run. I don't see it anymore. Oh, it's right there. 
Uh, we can't go through the water. Every morning, my mom accompanied me through the woods from the school to the school. She returned every evening to take me back. We can't go in the water. We already know that kills us. It's not ice. Unless I can walk over this. Wait, it's... Oh, it's this way. What? Am I going? Am I doing it? I don't see it anymore. It's gone. It might be gone. What? 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 What was that noise? Where am I? It's gone. As the years passed by, bringing me to and taking me back from school became increasingly difficult for my mom. My dad had to suggest that I stop school, but I insisted to walk alone to school. What? Graveyard? That mean what I think it means? Uh, more bells? Don't attack me, please. That's a deeper sounding bell. It's a, just a graveyard. It's totally normal in the middle of a forest. Totally what you expect to find. Totally not terrifying. There's red stuff over there? What is that? Uh, what are those? Something hanging in the trees? Uh, is that not where I want to go? Is that coming for me? In the summer, my jur- What the fuck is that? My journey to the school didn't take long. Sometimes I even get- I was even given a lift by those driving to the city. Everything changed as the winter approached. Days became shorter, and the road was drowned in an impassable layer of snow. I don't want to go there. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Fuck. In winter, only pupil always... Only pupil always released... I was the only pupil always released by teachers in the middle of classes to leave so as to get home before it's dark. I don't even- Oh, Jesus, it has a mask! Okay. Oh, God, we're fucked. Goodbye. What are these? Do these help me? Did these kill me? There's more of them. What is this? I can't go there. I can't go there. I'm stuck. Help! Uh, um, 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 uh, what is this? What's going on? What's happening? Ooh, the dream disappears. I don't even know what happens, but it always returns the next night. <laughs> All right, well, uh, let me try again. It got me. <laughs> Give me one second. <laughs> Here we go. Can we load though? Oh, we can load. Okay. Uh, oh, we're here. Okay. We start off here. That's good. We get checkpoints. All right. I'm just running. Okay. There is actually still a bell. I thought there wasn't. So don't go to the floating red ghost in the sky. I mean, I could have guessed that myself, but now we know for sure. <laughs> don't do that. It's still after me, right? Is the bell is almost inaudible. Nothing behind me. Make a ding. Okay, 
This way. Just go straight. Don't look back. Never look back. Just run and never look back. In the summer, my journey didn't take long. Exactly. Yeah, we know this. Where is this going? This is so mysterious. I love this. <laughs> oh, there's, there's the red, the red ghosts. Don't go to them. Oh, it's by me. Okay, okay. I, I have to go this way, but there's monsters in the way. Oh, fuck, man. Imagine having to go straight through a, a forest to get to school. Absolutely terrifying. Okay, this way. In winter, I was the only pupil always released by teachers in the middle of classes to leave as at, so as to get home before it's dark. Just study at home. Just follow the online lectures. This is not worth it. Ugh. Not worth. Oh, it's right there. Okay, this is fine. It's we got us. We got a decent distance. Oh god. Though the road was long, I was very familiar with it. In summer, I often rode on by on my bicycle with my friends through the woods. But one evening in December, I just lost my way while coming back from school. It's so close. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. It's getting faster! I don't quite remember how or why this happened and where I turned the wrong way, but I noticed that tree tops that were recently lit with bright red light of the setting sun were already downed in the heavy gloomy sky. Okay. What the fuck? I probably read that wrong because that sentence literally made zero sense to me to my brain, but I'm also a little under pressure. Peering into the darkness in an attempt to see familiar places, I struggled to drive away from myself. Frighteningly simple, th frighteningly simple thought that lodged in my mind then. I'll never get out of this place. Okay, we were thinking that. Uh, I mean, I'm thinking the same thing right now. I've never walked so far away from home. Stories by old men were what made me know there used to be a village abandoned by people many years ago. Somewhere far away in the forest. And that since then, the village is completely abandoned. No one? There's no one. We were never forbidden to go there. However, whenever my friends and I went so far from home, we experienced a strange feeling of anxiety at the boundary of an impenetrable thicket through which the sun could not even pass. We turned around, not saying a word to each other, and hurriedly went back. one here mm. uh oh uh it's a moving gravestone i would probably run at this point run the fuck out of here and never come back uh we're gonna turn around and get absolutely blasted right now <laughs> No more bells? This is it? Oh, there's a bridge. Wait, no, there's not. Uh, I don't know what the hell is going on anymore. I don't hear anything. No guidance? I don't hear anything. No bells? No nothing? I'm free? Or dead? I don't think free is good. Oh, a bell? Wait, is it coming from here? Let's listen. 
It's very far away. Wait, it's coming from this? Yeah, you can hear it. It's coming from there. Wait, it's so hard to hear, though. I'm just going to run this way. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, we're back on track. Man, this game is actually awesome. This far exceeded what I expected. I mean, this is pretty much exactly what I hoped it would be. Some mysterious, terrifying forest experience. Oh boy, it's chasing me again. I'll never forget- Oh fuck, I'm turned around. I'll never forget that house, that cemetery, and that church. It's a forgotten village where I tried to hide from the creepy creatures pursuing me. But I don't remember how I managed to survive and get out of that dark forest. Many years have passed since then, but I still don't understand why this keeps on appearing in my dreams. Oh, it's there. It's chasing. It's fast. Stay away! Uh, hi there. Uh, can we talk about it, please? Oh, okay. I'm running. He looks like Hollow Knight. He looks like Cursed Hollow Knight. Oh, we're getting close. Oh my god! <gasps> what? I'm almost at the border between sleep and waking. It was here that the fear, which I always run away from, catches up with me. Everything is repeated again and again in each of these dreams. What the fuck? See that? Freaking zoomed. Oh boy. I'm so tense. All my muscles are freaking. <laughs> But not the pursuing darkness scared me the most. Oh, it's going fast! Ah! Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Fuck. Right. Waking up frightens me more. That brief moment between dream and reality, the moment when nightmare is replaced by reality, but it's still not forgotten, and your regained consciousness has not yet managed to erase the nightmare completely from your memory. What? Uh, I'm being I'm being led into the water. Or is this a is this a bridge? There's a bridge. No, don't attack me. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> Got him. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, run, run, run. What are you doing? We're dead. Hi. Uh, I close my eyes and the belligerent monster pounces on me. The disgusting munching sounds as the monster tore the flesh into shreds started waking me up. The night forest fades and the pale morning light emerges. Then I'm enveloped in real fear, lying on my bed, afraid to open my eyes. The fear of the future shackles my mind and chains. The future that I don't even have, where adult life is just an illusion. I'm 12 years old, outside the window, 
Heavy December clouds brings blistering cold on the first snow. This is the first winter I'll be going to school alone. Lying in bed, I struggle to squeeze my eyes in a vain attempt to retain memories of my dream. I'm waking up, but I must not forget this dream. I must not forget this dream. I must not forget. I remember this dream. Let's go, dude. That was genuinely awesome. <laughs> what a cute little terrifying experience you got. Well, that completely lived up to the expectation I had after a title like this. I mean, a game like that is timeless. This could be 7, 20 years old and you wouldn't even notice. Because, uh, yeah, that was a genuinely scary. I uh, hope not many people are trying to sleep right now because uh, that might keep you up. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you thought. I love games like this that are just more of an experience and try to tell you like a creepy mysterious story I mean, that's honestly Like mysteries like that is why I initially got got like uh, dragged into horror games because I love I love games like that I mean other games that are kind of like that like outer wilds the mystery of discovering uh, like a, a universe obviously a very different not very horror -y game but I love myster mysterious games like that that are just more about the experience than about uh, flashy gameplay mechanics and stuff like that so yeah let me know what you thought I hope you enjoyed it if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash or click the link in the description down below thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around bye guys have a good one bye bye good night <laughs> good night there we go that was awesome very well done <laughs> genuinely scary all right let's get the hell out of here no more dreams please gonna lose my mind okay so that was i remember this dream much better than i expected now once again disclaimer if you have an irrational fear or maybe a rational fear after this game you're gonna think it's a rational fear for moths this game is about moths and uh there's like a house full of moths i mean the game is called moth house so it's probably about a house full of moths that's what i expect uh so be warned you might moths with a th moth uh or or horror game marathon moth house Here we go. Oh boy, what a title screen. Oh, there he sounds. No, no, no. Yucky, yucky. Me no like. Moth house. Oh, there's a moth climbing on the title screen. I do not like it. <laughs> all right, well, here we go. Let's go say hi YouTube and see what this is all about. All right, give me one second, actually. <laughs> oh god. Ah! Dude, there's gotta be one of these days where I'll set up something for that moment and I'll jump scare the shit out of you. I'll just have like some kind of remote that I'll click and then it plays one of the, you know one of those games you used to f troll your friends with where it's like follow the dot and you had to like focus on the dot and then it show up like this zombie lady I'm gonna do one of those <laughs> all right anyway we're gonna go say hi YouTube I'm gonna just turn up the oh that's fucked I don't like that audio at all here we go let's go say hi oh baby Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Moth House. This is a horror game about moths, so be warned. I know there's a lot of people that are genuinely terrified of moths, so if that is you, probably don't watch this one or watch this one if you want to get very, very scared. I'm excited to see what this game is all about, and I hope you enjoy this. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it, but let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game. Let's go. Here we go. A letter. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing to inform you that I am leaving far from here and on an expedition. Unfortunately, I can't provide a location. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means that I will not return. 
I hope that this will not happen. But if I still do not get in touch, then I have a request for you. In the attached letter, there is a list with species of moths. Come to my house and catch at least one of each species, and then let them out of the house. But it's better if you free them all. With all my love, your dad. Uh, <laughs> he's getting milk? He's getting moths? Hi there. We got a... One single match? <laughs> I'm holding a single match. Oh god, are there gonna be moths in this house? Good, solid atmosphere right off the bat. Rats as well. I thought this was only moths. Uh, oh god, that's just it's it's already moths, or is this just no? That's just dust. It's just dust. That's fine. Use the mouse wheel to change the item. Oh, <laughs> I got a little thing. Here we go. Use tab to open the backpack. Oh, what the fuck? I got tiger moth? Oh, there's moths later. I don't hate these. I hate moths. I don't have like a irrational fear of moths. I think I have a pretty rational fear of moths that they just suck. Can we all agree? I know. Oh God, there's a big one. Mm, hi there. Okay, we light lighters all the time. We got three forests. I'm just gonna catch them all. Come with me. I'm catching all the moths. There were moths back here as well. It, or unless this was literally dust. Nope. They're moths too. Why why does my dad want me to do this? This is some psycho shit. The fuck is wrong with you, dad? Alright, I got them all. Oh god, that's not okay. <laughs> we keep them all in a jar. We got 40 American dagger moths. We're learning. This is like a fucked up Sesame Street. We got a Leoport moth. Six of them actually. Oh boy. I hope the, the this guy is burning his finger every time. Catch the last one. There we go. We're gonna have to catch many, many, many moths. This is not good. They're gonna get bigger. I, I can feel that. What? The, who would hang that up? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's fine. Pick up. What is this? Is this a freaking spear box? Moths emit ultrasound as a way of communicating with other moths and detecting their environment. This ultrasound is typically measured in kilohertz. With the average value of around 30 to 60 kilohertz, the moth produces the ultrasound by vibrating special organs in its body called timbles. Interestingly, there are devices called bat detectors that can capture these ultrasounds, which can help in monitoring moth populations and their behavior. This is because bats, which are natural predators of moths, also use ultrasound to locate their prey. Can we... I, I, I would say get more bats, but since recent history, I don't think we can get more bats. I think that's a bad idea. A bat idea, if you will. Uh, buy some bats. No, no, no. Use F. Oh. Oh. I please. I want to keep them on. Oh, here we go. Big moths. They're, they're so large. What? Is that a goose on television? What the fuck? Please? There we go. Uh, I hate this. Why is there a goose on television? What am I watching? Catch the big one. Okay. Just. I'm so glad I don't actually have to put them in a jar. You know, why don't we do what normal people do when there's a moth in their bedroom? They just like cover their face with a blanket until it's until you hope it just disappears magically. Why do they always disappear? Isn't that actually more concerning? Because I always just like ignore them until they disappear. But where do they go? <laughs> now that I think about it, it actually makes me more concerned. Oh God, there's a few more. Come here, you little shit. No more. How many do we got? Oh god, we have so many. 71 American dagger moths. We still have a lot left though. What? It's a duck on TV? Excuse me? I'm so confused. Oh my god, there's so many of them, you pieces of shit. What kind of request is this? Go to my house and catch all my moths. What's wrong with you? I would just say fuck you. <laughs> It might be my dad, but I don't give a shit. All right, you last, you tiny bitch. All right, whatever. Oh, what's this? Crowbar? Okay. Hook? 
No recipes? Are we gonna eat them? Are we gonna eat the moths? What the hell? Oh god. Let him cook. Oh, we can unblock this now. Wait, is there a door in here? Didn't we? We haven't gone here yet. Oh, good. Oh, these are fucking disgusting. They got like little tails. Yucky bucky. Dude, what the f- oh god. Dude, look at those! Look at those! What the heck are those tails? Gratonanos? Gratonotos? Gang is moth? Fuck that one. That's the worst. They're beautiful. Need a key. You got a problem? Wait, was there a moth on the wall there? No, it's fine. Oh boy. More moths. Oh, I hate the big ones. I hate the big... This is fucked. I would never be here. E yucky bucky bucky. I don't think this would scare me so much, but I... <laughs> They're so disgusting, man. They're not even disgusting. Why are moths so scary? Has there ever been research done on this topic? Look at these. At least I'm catching them so fast. Okay. Oh no, there's a few more. All right, no more. No more moths, please. Oh, there's still so many on the wall. What the fuck? They're like, they're like spiders. Butterfly superiority. I know butterflies also scare the shit out of some people. Some people are also just as afraid of butterflies. Oh, what is the... Thank you. What is that noise? No, no, no! What? What? I'm being eaten? Uh, yuckus buckus. I'm in a cocoon. I'm a moth. There's so many damn moths everywhere, dude. Imagine being here. Imagine being here. I wouldn't, I would scream and cry. Like a little baby. <laughs> oh, God. Why do I have to catch them all? Someone keeping track of all my, all my moths? Oh, there's so many on the wall, man. This. Oh god. Dude, how how many big moths are there? Catch him. Well, some of these have such weird. <laughs> I fucking hate this. Lamp. I'm stuck! Oh, okay, I can crouch. Dude, this is the true lamp meme. Okay, how many do we Jesus Christ? Uh, I got 206 American Dagger Moths. Alright, I hope this is good enough for you, because I am about to leave, because I don't want to be here anymore. Oh no, this wall. Mm. It's totally not completely concerning. I mean, we might as well grab these big ones. And the fucked up part is that there's gonna be people that watch this and they're gonna be like, oh, pretty moths. Oh god, they're on the ceiling too! Oh no! Get them off! Get out of here! We're cleaning up the entire room. One moth at a time, and then I'm gonna put set them all on fire. This is forever. There's infinite moths. Don't make that noise! Is that- Oh, what the fuck, man? <laughs> you son of a bitch. Okay, we're almost done. There are so many damn moths. That's so many. Am I even collecting any new ones? Probably just collecting a bunch of the ones I already have. I don't think I'm supposed to. I mean, it said I was supposed to catch them all, so I'm 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 being a good boy. This is fucked. 
It get even bigger? Yeah, there's many big ones. How is it, how big is the biggest moth like in real life? What's the most what is the biggest moth species? Like what are they called? Oh Jesus. Can anyone look this up for me? The Atlas moth? Is that the biggest moth? Okay. Oh god. Keep doing this. <laughs> Atlas, is that the biggest one? <laughs> 27 centimeters across? What the fuck? I never wanna where do those live? I wanna avoid that place. Where where do those live? I'm gonna avoid that place like the plague. All right, well, we cleaned almost everything here. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Oh, there's still a few. I'm, I'm out of here. Oh, they're everywhere. Good God, man. Yeah, that's not totally fucked up. <laughs> so apparently there's the there's a moth called Atlas Moth in real life, which is 27 centimeters big. That's crazy. Like a few of those is bigger than an average child. All right, are we almost done? There you go, spick and span. No more moths. Oh God, one more. All right, get me out of here. No more big moth, please. I'm here to help. I'm here to set you free. Oh, we already read this. Hi. Do I need to go back to where I was or is this guy gonna kill me again? I was over here. I was being a sneaky boy. Do I need to crouch maybe? Oh God. Are these gonna be new moths? I need to collect one of each, right? What? A I'm missing so many of them. I got 400 American dagger moths. <gasps> All right, just get the big ones. Don't worry about the small ones. Mm. What are these noises? Are you hearing that shit? Oh God. Is that, is that these making the noise? Is that just all you guys? Stop it. I'm just gonna get all the big ones off the wall because those seem to be the most important ones. Oh, we got a new save recipe. Wait, we can cook something? Can we cook some moths? Can we eat them? Just fucking run. I don't even know what's going on. I want to cook. I want to cook some moths. What can we make? What? <laughs> we have a recipe of moths? Okay, sure. Can I cook this? What is this for? <laughs> Am I going to eat this? What do I need this for? I'm just gonna keep that in my inventory. Okay, I guess. Is that a moth pizza? Oh no, it's a regular pizza. Oh, big guy, please don't attack me. I'm a friend to moths. I'm a... I'm a careful ally of the moth kingdom. Oh boy. Give me these. Give me the big ones off the wall. Are we still missing? We're only missing like a handful. We're only missing four moths. We almost got them all. We better get the good ending. I'm never doing this ever again. What was this? The Death's Head Hawk Moth Echerontias is a large and distinctive moth that is found in various parts of the world, including Europe, Asia, and Africa. It gets its name from the skull-shaped pattern on its thorax, which resembles a human skull, skull, and has a long been associated with death and the supernatural. This moth has a wingspan of up to 13 centimeters and is primarily brown in color with yellow or orange stripes on its abdomen. All right, so what are these noises? 
Oh my god. There, there's a new one. I, I needed those, even though I hit them. Dude, look at these up close, man. Disgusting. Disgusting. Do, do, is it a myth that moth eat moth eats clothes eat eat clothes or is that like actually what they eat? I thought that's what they eat. It's true. All right, get me out of here. They do. They eat con. Okay, I see. How many? We only need one more. One more. We need the white witch moth. Uh, any white witch moths in chat? I don't know. Did I get one? I didn't get one. It's raining. Is it? We're gonna let them out in the rain. Isn't that gonna destroy them? There was a new recipe? There was a recipe? Wait, I didn't see it. Do I even want to cook that? Oh, what's this? The Comet Moth, also known as the Madagascan Moon Moth, is a species of moth found in Madagascar. I could have guessed that. It is known for its distinctive appearance with large pale green wings that have long sweeping tails that resemble the tail of a comet. The Comet Moth is considered one of the largest silk moths in the world with a wingspan that can reach up to 20 centimeters. The Comet Moth is primarily active at night and feeds on the nectar of flowers. While it is not considered a significant pest, the Comet Moth is highly valued for its beauty and is often sought after by collectors. There's moth collectors. There's a recipe. Okay, well, we're gonna have to cook that one. I mean, I guess there's also serial killers. There's probably more serial killers than there are moth collectors. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, another recipe? Is that the white one? Ah! No, 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 no! Well, I'm dead. Goodbye, everyone. Why are you capturing me? I'm being nice. Can I hit it with a crowbar? Okay. Hey, at least we got rid of most of the stuff in here. <laughs> okay. We did, don't take any of my moths. We literally only need the white witch moth, but let's go cook some stuff. Let's make some of those recipes we got. Isn't that over here? Hi. Hi. Hey, where is it? Where was this way? Uh, yes. Right? Is this not the right way? Or is this just all the way back at the entrance? Whoops. <clears throat> Maybe put out the match when it's close by? Maybe. Where's the kitchen? That's downstairs. I don't want to go there. Oh, here. Okay. But wait, I need to... Can I only cook one recipe at the time? Wait a minute. I got this. Can I eat this? Why? What is this? <laughs> what do we do with this? Do we give it to the big moth? Is it a cannibal moth? It looks like it's still cooking. Also, you are fucked. I hate it. I guess there's hair. They're so hairy. So nasty, man. More recipes? Uh, we have not been here. Uh oh. That mean the the witch moth is in here? Please. Okay, it's fine. Oh boy. I'm just gonna take some of these. I don't actually want all of them. Just run. Just get out of there. Oh, more recipes. I don't know what any of these are for. <laughs> I don't want to be here in the dark. Dude, imagine the amount of stuff you'd feel. Like, the, the most fucked up part of, like, having a moth in your room is that they go to light. So you'll have, like, a light on because of your phone or something. And then the moth will, like, fly into your face. Oh, man, that feeling. That's why I hate them. Mostly. Honestly. Like, if they were just chilling, if they were just... Staying out of my way. That's why I don't mind, mind spiders because I spiders just stay out of my way and I stay out of the spiders way I don't care that moths just like they 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 go to you It's it's not okay. You can't do that I, Okay All right, uh, we don't find the witch moth here literally only need one witch moth. Oh boy. Okay, it's going that way. 
No! No! I hid it here. Where the fuck is this witch moth? Is that the one I need? Oh, we're going up. White witch moth. More, more moth recipes. How lovely. Yucky bucky. Oh, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Just swipe them all off the wall. They did they get one? I didn't get one. Is it gonna be in the library? Yeah, it should be very obvious, right? The white one. Oh. I'm gonna go to the library again. Oh no, he's down there. Never mind. I'm going up. I don't like this at all. Is there anything up here that we even need? Is there even a reason to be here? Yeah, why did my dad have a mansion and didn't even tell me about it? Is that it? Lovely. Oh, here. In the library. It was upstairs. The white moth here. Is that my dad? <gasps> he. Mason Hart, the famous moth collector, has won the Nobel Prize in Biology for this, his discovery of the Luinga moth. Luingua moth? A new species of moth that can speak human language! The lingua moth? The lingua moth's ability to communicate in English has revolutionized the field of biology and opened up new possibilities for communication with other species. Mr. Hart's dedication and passion for moth collection and research have resulted in this groundbreaking discovery, and his work has been recognized as one of the most significant contributions to biology in recent history. Uh, we're gonna have to talk to moths now? It's, get, it's getting worse and worse? Okay, well, we're gonna go into the one room that had a key. Dude, this guy is fucked up. You're not my dad. I disown you. <laughs> run down there okay I don't remember where this door was at all don't do that I think it was somewhere around Fuck. okay uh it wasn't up sound you make makes me so nervous oh there's a note have we already read this the create tonos gangus we already read that right oh no 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 that was the one fucked up moth it's a species of moth found in southeast asia australia and parts of africa it is known for its distinctive appearance with brightly colored hind wings that are covered in long fluffy hair like structures called coromata gormata are used by male moths to release pheromones that attract females for, ma for mating. The moth is also notable for its ability to vary the size and shape of its coromata in response to environmental and social factors, which may play a role in mate selection and competition. Yeah, not, don't, no thank you. Oh, here we go. This is where, this is where the door is. Right in here. This door, yes. Um. Um. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? My good god! He's gonna slurp me! Do I need to talk? <gasps> it's the white moth. It's the. Hawk? Hello, human. I'm the moth king's helper you see the king can't speak like a human unlike me i know the human language and i can also translate from the language of moths our master has disappeared from this house and the moth king is hungry he is already tired of eating little moths flying by past him once he even once he even almost ate me the king needs to be fed urgently with normal human food he needs soup moth soup there are many types of moths and you if you mix them properly you'll make a great soup please make soup and feed the moth king well i got just that you want my soup here you go thanks but one pot of soup isn't enough for a king make more soup 
Also, I don't know if the king liked this soup. So it's better... So it's... It's better will be if you make soup from other ingredients, okay? I will do just that. I will cook all these moths alive if I have to. Hot time. Okay. So this is the one we already did. This is the first recipe. Let's do the next one. This one. Sure, I got everything. Nice. Here you go. I got another one. You like this? Thank you, but the king has not eaten for a long time and two pots of soup is not enough for him. So make another batch of soup. I think he'll have enough. Wait, we definitely have enough recipes. Okay, oh good. Here we go. Next recipe, not this one. Uh, oh no, we need the white moth. Not enough ingre ingredients. Are you kidding me? We need to have the white one. Oh no, but this one we do got, we got as well. Okay. Nice. Wait, where the heck is the white moth? Thank you for feeding the moth king. However, he says that your soups were terrible and he would have been better off starving. I don't want to do this, but I have to follow the king's orders. The moth king says you killed moths for nothing to make those awful soup. Those soups he wants to drive you to moth hell. Moth hell is a terrible place for moths, but not only moths get there, but people too. For example, our owner got there. On this, we will have to part. I'm sorry, but there is no choice. Goodbye. No! Uh, I'm going to moth hell. What? Excuse me. <laughs> oh God. I don't want to be in moth hell. What the fuck? <laughs> am I a moth now? Oh no, I'm a moth! <laughs> I am, I have become what I hate the most. No! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I wonder if there, is there a, a, a combination of soups you can give him that he likes? I, I'm pretty sure you can. <laughs> Is there? Let me quickly look it up. Is there a moth? Is there a combination of moth soup you can give him? Does anyone know? You can give him good soups? There are multiple endings? What are the good soups? Is it the one with the witch moths? Witch soups. Moth house. Moth house. Let's see. Oh god, 10 types of moths with photos. I don't want this. Shut up. I'm looking it up. And moths guaranteed to make you scared. How do you get the good ending? How do you, do you need the heart? Feeding the right soups. How do you know about the right soups? Do you just try over and over again? Or do you just like do the hardest ones and then you win? The one that uses all of the mods? Let's see it. <sighs> Let's just go back in because we need to catch, we need to find some moths anyway. Yeah, we're gonna try and get back in and feed it the right soups. Zephyr, thank you for the three months. Okay. We just need to find some. I mean, we'll probably need the biggest recipes, like the ones that are the hardest to make, I'm assuming. Yeah, hydrate after that bullshit. Okay, speed run time. We just need- oh no. We just need every moth, so we also need the witch moth. We'll just swipe around a little bit. We literally don't need many, because it's so easy to get them. Yes. I don't know if we- if this will help us find the right one. Uh, lock. Never mind. We're not going there. Here. Get the big ones. The big ones are gonna be in my soup. This is ridiculous. How is he blaming me for making for Stop it, duck. Uh for feeding him for killing moths if he literally asked me to feed him moths? That's kind of fucked up. Are you blaming me? Alright, let's 
I mean, we, we kind of don't know which moth is which anyway. We might as well catch a bunch. I mean, if we go into the... If we go into the, like, hidey hole of the moths, we probably find one. Or we find... We need to find those witches moths. Where the fuck are those? I didn't season it enough. My cooking wasn't up to par. Okay, here we go. Recipe. We need to find all of those. Uh oh. What? This is ridiculous. The... Oh, could they be inside of stuff? Like, are they hiding by themselves? Maybe they're hiding somewhere. Stupid witch moth. Up here. Oh god. Yeah, look at that. I almost have everything already. Don't make that noise. I don't like it. Yeah, we need the witch moth. Are you up here? Oh god! No, 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 no! Okay. We lost them. And there's the recipe. Nice. This is where we started. Let's do left wall strats. Left wall strats trying to find everything. Maybe the big one is the witch moth. I don't think so. Do they respawn? Over here, we already found a recipe in here. Oh God. I want to do left wall strats. You're ruining my strat by being in my way. More. Oh, what's this? Hi, Paul. It turns out the lingua moths has many abilities besides speaking human language. They're capable of blank. So I have to report that I'm going to blank. I'm not sure I'll be back from there, but in the name of science, I have to check it out. I grow new types of moths in the basement. I hope that while I am away, the house will not rot from a large number of different moths. Just in case, I'll block the entrance. If something happens, then blank. Okay. So we need to go to the basement. That's where the different types of moths are. Oh, run. No, thank you. Leave me alone. This is where I was. You're just patrolling the same area. Okay, wait, no, I don't want to go to the attic. What was this? Is this new? In a truly astonishing discovery, Mason Hart, a well-known moth collector, has discovered a new species of moth that can speak human language. Mr. Hart, who has been collecting and studying moths for many years, made the discovery while on, while on a collecting trip in the Amazon rainforest. The moth, which has a unique wing pattern and body structure, was observed by Mrs. Mr. Hart communicating in English. This incredible discovery has sent shockwaves through the scientific community and has opened up new possibilities for communication with other species. Mr. Hart has named the new species Lingua Moth and has pledged to continue studying and protecting this remarkable insect. I want to kill it. What if there would be a mosquito that could talk human language? I'd still probably kill it. <laughs> what could they possibly say? That would stop me from... That sounds like a horror game, all right. Wait, this is a different way to go up. Sucky, sucky. <laughs> Give me your blood. No! Uh-oh. Where the fuck are the witch moths? Do I have them? I don't have them still. He's behind me. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, get the key? Yes, yes. Can we ask him what Soupy wants? Can you just tell me, you piece of garbage? Oh, more recipes, yes. Uh, oh, there, another one. We'll need all of them. We're gonna have to make the hardest ones for sure. <clears throat> Those look like witch mo- Oh, I got one! Yeah, I think- Wait, 
No, wait, I just randomly got one. Okay, so we literally have to just do every single one of these areas and just keep going. We are missing the the Gregatonis ones with the weird tails. I think we're gonna have to go to the basement for that one. Okay. So just just swipe across across the wall and you'll eventually find one. You check the bathrooms. Wait, another recipe? It better be clear which ones you have to make. Probably look it up, honestly. Or maybe there's gonna be a note somewhere that tells us. Make a soup with all the moths. I mean, I almost have them all. I I don't have the apelata dotas tora fakta vata vata. Whatever the fuck that one is. I think I need to be brought. To the basement. I think I can go to the basement myself, can't I? Do I have to be captured? I think I might have to be captured. Isn't this, this the basement? No. This? This is the basement, I think. Yeah, I think we have to be captured by the big moth so we can go into the basement. To get all of them. Well, let's find them. Where's the big boy? I'm coming to hug you. Hi there. <laughs> Dude, the sound he makes. What the fuck? Yeah, I think the big one opens the door. Like he sends me into there. That's some nasty noises. There we go. And now we can leave, right? Yep, there you go. Okay, so we're just gonna catch all these fucking mods in here. There better be some witch mods down here. I know these with the tails are here. Where are the ones with the tails? I swear those were down here. Yeah, we literally got all of them except the tail one. Do they spawn randomly? Where are you guys? haven't fixed the bot the bot is just broke like it's not my fault literally it's why your your computer dies sometimes because you decided to download the next update of windows and windows decided to fuck it up like i i, I downloaded the next update and they still haven't fixed the update like it, all i did was update the bot you would think that would make it better that's why it's called like updating but it only made it worse I'm for a new bot. We literally don't need a bot. Like, it's completely useless. Like, all it tells you is stupid people. Like, things that they already know. And people just abuse the bot. Like, the only reason it breaks is because people spam commands. So it's just, let this be, let this be like a lesson. Stop your bot addiction. And fucking chill the hell out. I still haven't found one of those. What the fuck? What the hell are they? I swear those were in the basement previously. I think I talked about them in the basement, didn't I? Oh, come on. I think they spawn randomly. Jesus Christ, that's a big, big pot of moths. Moth, moth, moth. Hey, it's, start, I'm, it's like exposure therapy right now. I'm starting to get less afraid of moths. Did you? Oh, on the ceiling, maybe. I've only found one of the whites, white ones. Boom. 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 I wish I could do this faster. This is bullshit. 
We have pretty much everything we need. I don't think we're gonna need more than this. So let's just get the fuck out of here and try to find the other ones. What's the objective of this game? The, the cook soup for a moth king. We need to cook a soup worthy of a moth king. But there's there we are missing a specific type of moth. I mean, we can check. So how many recipes do we got? I hope we have them all. I don't know which ones to cook though. Like obviously not the easy ones. We don't have enough ingredients for this one. We need 15 of the white ones. Are you crazy? Aha, we need this one. <laughs> we probably need this one. <laughs> one with all of them. Do we need any more? Like do we need three specific soups or just the one that has all of them? Probably just the one that has all of them. I hope so, at least. I don't know if anyone's seen this game. But where the fuck are the tail moths? Is it impo is, do they, like, spawn in impossible locations sometimes? It's probably really explored everywhere. We have not found the moth we need. Oh, God. Oh, we're going up. Wait, there's two ways up. I've been here before. I think I have. Pick the bathroom. Where? Upstairs? Don't you dare get me. Is it possible to die in this game? No. I don't think so. Maybe. I mean, you can get... Go to moth hell. Yeah, maybe you can capture the moth that talks to you. Probably be a bad idea, though. Teacher, thank you for the 26 months. Let's go up the other stairs because there's more stairs. There's like two attics. It's the lamp. <laughs> lamp. <laughs> what the fuck? Lamp. Oh, run. Isn't this where it just came from? Oh. Maybe there's two ways down. Okay, if we just follow this all the way to the end, is there going to be another way down over here? Yes. Okay, so there's two ways down into the... Or up into the attic. I genuinely don't know where the fuck this last moth, last moth is. Don't! Try turning on the lamp. Maybe. Maybe that's the answer. We should go... Maybe there's something in the starting area. I thought we had quite a few of these initially. Maybe we just got unlucky spawns. Is there a bathroom? I think we start. Yeah, we started there. That was like the entrance. We can't go back there. There's, there's no reason. Unless there's like a way further back that I should go to. This is the basement. There's got, is there another basement? Is it back there maybe? Maybe if we give him three soups with all the moths. No, because you can't... I don't know. I feel like... I feel like the way they phrased it, you should try and give him multiple soups so you have three chances to give him the right soup. I think that's the that's the thing. You got those on the wall? I'm just going back here to see if there's... If this is just a door. Okay. I don't need to go back. I mean, I would love to go back. Dude, where the fuck is it? need to find the damn moth, man. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's exactly what I... I mean, we need, just need to find the one with the tails. I swear I found that one in the basement last time. But there's none in the basement this time. I mean, we can check. Basement's right here. Let's see, so it's a super obvious one. It's the one with the tails. But I don't see any of them. What the heck? You guys make stop making the noise. Unless it's just an impossible spawn and I'll have to replay. I'm fairly certain those were in the basement before. And now they're just not there, and I've literally checked everywhere else. 
I found it before going into the basement. It might be over in this area then. Unless it's in over here. <gasps> Maybe in here. Aha! There we go! They're in this room! Nice! Okay. Let's go. They're in the room before the king. Okay, so now. Now let's see. So we have every single moth, but we only have one white witch moth. So, I mean, we can cook this one. So there's this one recipe, this. With all of the moths in there. I'm pretty sure that's just the one you need. Like, you need this specific one. There you go. Let's give it to him. Hi, friend. Here it comes. The Moth King. <laughs> Why is there such a giant hole there? What the fuck? <laughs> Give me lamp. <laughs> he looks like Siren Head Mouth. Hi there. I wish I could capture you. Hello, human. I'm the Moth King's helper. Yes, yes, yes. I got soup for him. I know my yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. The king needs to be fed urgently with normal human food. He needs soup. Moth soup. There are many types of moths, and if you mix them properly, you'll make a great soup. Please make soup and feed the king. All right, I got this soup for you that has every single moth in them. Thanks, but one pot of soup isn't enough for a king. Make more soup. Also, I don't know if the king liked this soup, so it's better... So it's better if you make more soup. Okay, a different type of soup. Okay, so we're gonna try and make the other ones. So... Let's, let, let me... Can I look this up? Is it like... Do you have to feed multiple soups? Like, because I'm not going to be able to find more witch moths, right? How the fuck do I feed him? We can't feed him three times the same soup unless we have to. Like, where the fuck did we find the witch moth? I don't remember at all. We just kind of swung around and eventually we found one. We have everything now. Except the witch one. Attic? There might be in the attic. Oh boy. Oh, he didn't even attack me. Let's go back in the attic. Which one is in the library? Let's check the library. Which I think is over here. Here. Any maybe they're in the middle here? Are these witch ones? Oh, these are the witch moths. Let's go. Okay, they're the ones that are in the library. Let's go. Okay, well, with that, we have every single moth. Now we just need to make him some soup. Nice. Okay, so we got every single one of them. I think I'm going to try and make the, um, the different ones that are hard to make. Uh, get me the fuck out of here. Wait, what the- what the heck is this? Is this another basement? Wait, this is another basement. Oh. What is this? Oh, uh, there's another recipe! Oh boy. I don't know if these are any special, but I'm just giving some of them. Oh, what are you doing down here? What the fuck? Help, 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 help. Get me out of here. Why are you in the basement? Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we have more than enough Go over here. Let's see if we got any new net recipes that are hurt. Put the thing on there. Okay, so this is the one that we cooked before, but it said, it, let, it said that I should try different ones. So let's see, this one we don't have enough because we need 15 of these ones, okay. This one is also difficult. This one is easy. 
That one is slightly hard because it uses a witch moth. This one is very, very, very hard. Let's just see if we can find some more in here. I don't think we can even make that one. I'm pretty sure some of these recipes are impossible. Oh, wait, maybe. We have 11. There. Nice. We have 14. Are you kidding me? Because I made a soup. Okay, so we can't physically make this one because it requires 15. Okay, so look, we have 15 white moths or there's in total, there's 15 white witch moths and there's 15 of the great taunted toss, whatever the fuck. So we cannot even make any of the other soups. I, we have to just, I'm just gonna give him three times the same. I think we're just gonna give him three times this this one because it's the only one that makes sense is this one we can't even make i mean that one we can make we can leave but that's kind of boring i'd rather just give him this yeah let's try let's hopefully this works but he says he wants different ones we just give him like this those are not special though they're not hard to make at all what if the helper is flying I absolutely want spoilers. If you know, like, if you know which ones I have to give him, then for sure. I'll just give him this one again. It seems like many people are saying that. We sent you a walkthrough on Discord? Okay, well, now it's already too late. I already made this one. All right, we're just going to keep giving him the one with all of the, all of the moths in it, and hopefully it works. Goes. Here you go. Thank you so much for feeding the Moth King. He really liked your soups. So he has powers and we can finally leave this old house and find yourself another place where there is normal food. I was glad to meet you, but we have to go. Goodbye. We did it. We pleased the Moth King. <laughs> Let's go. Oh god. Ah! <laughs> what have I done? I have set free a moth the size of a skyscraper. Oh god. That's not that many. There were way more. <laughs> He's gonna fly straight into the sun. <laughs> the ultimate lamp. There you go. All right. Now there is one more ending that we quickly can find, which is where we collect all the moths and then just leave. Because that's what our dad wanted us to do. So let's do that because we know where all the moths are. So let's do that real quick and then get the hell out of here. I want to see it because we, we literally just speed run this. Unless there is no ending like that. I mean, there seems to be. I'm pretty sure there is an ending like that. Cause there's a neutral ending. The sun, the forbidden lamp. Exactly. Wait, this is gonna be easy as heck. All we need to do is go to the bathroom, go into the basement. Just swipe along this wall, grab some of these, swipe along the wall. Go, go, go. And we have to be captured as well. Get you guys. You don't need to collect all the moths for that even? Wait, you don't? You can just, no, you can't, you can't leave at any time. I tried leaving and I couldn't. Oof. I ended up in moth hell when I gave him the wrong soup. That was, that was a terrible idea. Sahara, I think you're the 10 months. I'm actually start. I'm like genuinely neutral to moths now, at least in this game. It's mostly just when the moths touch you while you're trying to sleep. That's the fucked up part. That's what I hate about moths the most. Don't find me. I mean, if you're gonna find me, that's fine, because we need to go to the basement anyway. Well, here we go! <laughs> Get me out of here. Oh, Rookie, thank you for the 15 months. Okay. How many are we missing? We 
We are missing the rosy maple moth. That's the only one that I don't know where it's gonna be. Well, let's just keep swiping. Probably gonna be up in the attic. Where's that one? Be on the ceiling. Nope. This one looks like that. Alright, maybe on this wall. Look at that freaking <laughs> jar. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't like it. That's way too close. Fuck these moths. Okay, we just need to go to this bathroom over here. Collect these. Yes. Now we just need White Witch and Rosie. Which I don't- I have no idea where the Rosie one was. We just eventually collected that one. Might be in the attic on the wall. Or in the other basement, maybe? Oh boy. Dirt in my net. PC Gamer Girl, thank you for the 19 months. I didn't catch one yet. Food! A piece of garbage! Don't you dare! No! I said no! Okay, we're gonna juke him. Oh, get juked! <laughs> Big juke. Where the fuck are those? He's... Puppet combo? No. You know the way you can tell this isn't puppet combo? Because it's not breaking your eardrums as we speak. Uh, okay, we have everything of them except the rosy maple moth? Why the fuck? That one's the problem before. What the fuck is that one? Maybe that one is at the start and I just skipped it. Dang it. Thought this was easy. Oh, there we go. I caught a few. Okay, they're on this wall. Nice. Okay. So we actually have all of them now. So it, we should be able to leave and just never come back. Goodbye. Get the hell out of here. Find the exit. Uh, don't do it. Get away from me. There. Okay. Goodbye. So this should be it. I don't know if this is going to lead to an ending. Yeah, the, you can just run with this match. Alrighty, can we leave? Leave, there you go. So we got all of them. <laughs> and just look at that jar, man. Goodbye. Number, many numbers. Oh, oh, I'm opening the jar. There were way more in there, excuse me. <laughs> there they go. Goodbye, moths. Go free. And that's it. That's the neutral ending. At least we didn't go to Moth Hell. Alrighty, well that was Moth House. Uh, definitely by the end, I got kind of desensitized to the moths. But at the start, man, I, I don't know. There's something about moths that are just creepy. Like the way they're hairy with their... Like they move so unpredictably. And it's mostly the fact that they go to lamps. Like the whole lamp meme... The fact that they go to lights makes them super annoying at night because they always go to your face and they just like 
are like flying into your eyeballs and stuff like that uh that's the main thing that makes me uh, upset by mods but anyway let me know if you like mods probably if you made it all the way over here you probably don't mind mods too much because otherwise you would have already clicked off the video i hope you enjoyed it nonetheless if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it just like it and if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat join us over at twitch.tv slash instagram click the link in the description down below thank you so much for watching i'll see you around bye guys have a good one bye bye <laughs> Well, we survived the moths. Now move on. Get me out of this piece of shit hole. <laughs> I don't want to deal with these guys anymore. All right. Well, that was Moth House. Next. Uh, this is going to be... I think we'll do... I think we'll stick with the... Let's see. No, we can do this one. Let's do Dead Man's Fault, which I've had on my computer for a while now. What was this one again? I completely forgot. <clears throat> I think this is the game where we go... We go to, let me see. What is this one again? You are being sent in to try and rescue someone who has gone stuck in a cave. Okay, so we are saving someone who is in a cave. Let's see. I need to change the title. Dead man's fault. Dead man's fault. That man's fault. Here we go. Alrighty. Let's go say hi, YouTube. Am I going to play Subnautica? If you didn't hear it yesterday, we are playing Subnautica starting next week. So next week, uh, probably Monday. I don't know when exactly. Depends on Sons of the Forest, but that's going to be next week. All right. Hi, YouTube. How are you doing? And welcome to Dead Man's Fault. This is a horror game where you go into a cave to rescue someone who got stuck while trying to cave dive. Now, uh, I love caves myself, but uh, there's a certain point at which it gets really ridiculous. I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube of people cave diving, and some of the stuff that those people do is absolutely insane. So I love this setting, and I can't wait to see what the game got in store for us. I hope you join us. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, it's like it, but let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game. Let's go. Alrighty. Uh, adjust until you can barely see them. What do you mean, them? Oh, God. <laughs> I see what you mean. What the fuck? Alright, I'm gonna leave it at that. Again. Wait, is there anything else? Volume? That's fine. We're watching a tape. Breaking news. <laughs> uh, hi there. Cave exploration gone wrong. Three days have passed since a rescue team was sent out looking for an unknown cave explorer who was stuck within Deep Den Cave. The rescue team is still having no luck locating the caver despite finding evidence of some abandoned gear, and they're getting more worried with each passing day. According to their previous rescue attempt, the caver most likely entered the deepest section of the cave known as Dead Man's Fault, which is a dangerous zone that has claimed many lives before. It is believed that this caver might have fallen into one of the many deep pits within the cave, and either drowned to death, or possibly broken their legs from the f- uh, <laughs> I got interrupted? Oh no. Well, I guess we're going in! Oh boy. Yeah, I know how to move game. This is actually a nice open cave. The only parts, like, I like this. I like the open area cave exploration. I've been in a lot of caves in France and, and other places, but there is something about like crawling through like a space. Oh God. Oh, that is like far beyond comfortable for me. Like if you have to crawl through something, like imagine getting stuck somewhere that you have to crawl through. That sounds terrifying. Cave divers are crazy. All right, we're sprinting. Uh, I'm recharging my flare. Ooh, that's a nice bouncy flare you got right there. This is a pretty good cave. Nice and open. Oh, crime. We're going further down. Uh, what the hell? I thought you just jumped down like a crazy person. I don't even like tight spaces. I mean, there's something cool about being in a cave like they gotta be tourist caves though like the the ones in france where it's just like 
completely safe. You got a tour guide and everything. No, no freestyle cave exploration for me. I've gone into mines as well in the US, but that's different because that's like man-made. That's less mysterious. Just a normal cave. Just chill cave. Oh. That's a very fiery flare, by the way. I love the drippy sounds, but that... What is this white... Dust? Wait, did we go up here? Uh, oh, wait, I went in a circle? Excuse me. What? Wait, how the fuck did I get turned around? Excuse me. What? They're moths? Why would they be down here? I'm confused. Uh, hello? Wait. Is it? Huh? Is this a liminal cave? What the heck is going on? I swear I already jumped down there before. Something is not right. Uh, oh, that's an open area. Don't fall. Oh god. Ascend even deeper. There was like this one story. It, was it Internet the story who made a video on this? The one story of the guy stuck in a cave? Who was like... A whole mass hysteria in the US? About like people trying to save him? That was a very interesting story. If you haven't already watched that one, I highly recommend it. That's kind of like the story we're going through right now. We're trying to save this guy. Or person. Kitty, thank you for the six months. Uh, what the heck? There's just a door down here. Why is there a door down here? This makes no sense at all. Excuse me. What the fuck? Hello? Uh, can I go through the door? I'm interact. I'm trying to interact with it. E. Oh. Push through it. I don't know why there's a door, but I'm gonna just keep going. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Totally fine. This reminds me of Depth 6 that I played a while ago, which was also a very fun game. Uh, can you please turn on your flashlight or something? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Or it was called Inside Depth 6, I think. Excuse me. What is happening? This is a magical cave. Who put this grandfather clock here? Vecna? <laughs> hey, we only have to wait one more year until the next season. This is definitely a non-liminal cave. We are going in circles. Even though we're going further down. This is a strange experience. What's that? Hi? Is that a television? Excuse me. I'm gonna watch him tell- tell- Wait, there's a flare here. Watch. Excuse me? Breaking news again. Is there two people stuck? Cave exploration guidelines for free information, right? Don't jump in holes. <laughs> Excuse me. Caves across America and crawl in and lure explorers every day. Consider taking a venture yourself. Think twice before you do. It may seem enticing, but before you heed that siren's call, there are a few tips and guidelines you should follow when crawling through caverns. Pack supplies for an emergency. Rule one, pack supplies for an emergency. Just Always make sure to pack supplies for any given emergency or situation. At minimum, you should pack yourself a bit of packaged food, a canteen of water, a lantern or headlamp, and of course some emergency flares. 
Always make sure to check your equipment for faults prior to departure. Okay, thank you, thank you. It's a little too late for this, don't you think? Know your route. <laughs> Caves are as confusing and mysterious as they are alluring. Knowing where you are and where you're going is the first line of defense against getting lost. Knowing where you're going. Uh, I Be don't sure know where I'm going. Be sure to map or guide of the cave system beforehand. If you can, bring someone along who is experienced with the cave. And if you spot an unfamiliar section of the cave, steer clear away from it. Remember, everyone, leave the trailblazing to the experts. <laughs> Rule number three, never go alone. Uh -oh. The last thing you would want to happen while exploring is to be completely isolated. So make sure to let friends know where you'll be and bring a friend or two along on your adventure. Uh, we didn't listen to any of these rules. But I didn't do any of them. Make sure you never go alone. You won't prove anything to the cave by hurling yourself into its depths. What? I'm fucked. Well, I'm alone and I don't have supplies and I don't even know where I'm going. I fucked up in every single way. I broke all the rules. Should have told me that beforehand. Oh god. Don't be so dark. Help. I can't see shit. There we go. Luckily I have many, many flares though. At least at least we got that going for us. Uh more doors. Fuck. Again. Excuse me? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, uh oh. Don't you dare. Don't make it dark like that when I'm just falling down a hole. Okay, I think we're gonna go. Light, more light. Is that a person? Hello? Oh no. Is someone sitting in the TV? What? Oh, it's just a regular TV. Can we watch some more? We can. <laughs> oh god, what's this gonna say? It's slowly becoming a house. Oh. You. Yes, you. Me? I tell you about extreme cave. Today's crazy crawl is deep down cave. Located up to thousands of feet underground. Excuse me. Of unexplored chambers. <laughs> Who knows what you'll uh, find? But don't get too confident. Even I've lost my bearings in that place before, but I made a killer escape. Oh, God. I. Uh, I don't. I, I. I can't. I can't remember what happened, actually. So, sorry, give me, a, give me a minute. I'm trying to recall. I got. I got lost. You fucking die? I, I found a beat. I think. What is this picture? Is it a dead person? What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Uh, excuse me? Uh, hi there. Don't look at me. Please look away. Oh, too many eyes. Fuck. Stop talking to me! Yeah, that's totally not cursed. Who put that there? Thanks. Dude, what the hell? Did I, someone just break their neck? Alright. <laughs> what the fuck? It was, it's all good. Was just someone stretching their back? Someone just being strangled? How do you know what that sounds like? You psycho? Oh, uh, it is truly becoming a house. And the door falls down. <laughs> Let's see. Just...
Can I see again? I can see as many times as I want. Nope, okay. Yep, no, 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 what the fuck? What's going on? It's overlapping? What? I don't even know what happened there. I'm out of here, goodbye. Oh, that's too many clocks. Oh no, the overlapping sounds. Too many clocks. Uh oh. Uh, don't make me dive in there. This looks like a diving plank. No, 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 no! What the fuck? Uh, ow, I'm dead. I'm in a blood ocean. What the f wait, it, f it broke my fall damage just like Minecraft. This is totally normal. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? Oh, I launched a flare. Oh no, it's deep. It's deep. I can't move very fast. Can I climb out of here, please? I can't. I have to go through the water. I'm stuck. Well, it's not water. I think this is... Uh, Kool-Aid. <laughs> oh, can we get out of here? Come on. You can do it. Uh, am I crawling? Oh, no, I'm crawling. What the fuck? <gasps> um, that genuinely got me. What the hell? Those are way too real looking eyes. I hear screams. I'm coming! I think we're both gonna be stuck down here. I don't think I can walk much more. But you can still scream loud. If you've ever completely lost your voice, you know that there's times when you physically can't scream. Like, even if you wanted to, your voice is just completely broken. You just can't talk anymore. Yeah, I'm definitely crawling. I'm coming! Ooh, more looking at me. That's actually awesome, though. <laughs> oh, God. I'm coming! Can I not scream back? Is it coming from behind me? I don't know. Someone is having a lot of pain. Like, what, did he, what does he think is going to happen? No one's going to hear you down here. Jesus Christ, this audio is fucked up. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Cry for help! Voice acting is very well done. What the fuck? That was that was awesome. What the fuck? <laughs> there you go. Well, that was actually really fun. I think the one thing that that really missed, like, if this game, instead of being made in like Unity or something, was made in Unreal Engine, I think it would have hit like ten times harder. I think the one thing that was lacking in this game for me were the visuals. The audio was on point. Just the visual, like, the visuals of the cave were, like, not realistic enough for me to be immersed to the point that it really got to me. I think if they worked on the, or if they redo a game like this, 
make it a little longer and do it with like Unreal Engine 5 or something like that where the caves actually look realistic. I think that could make it uh, hit a lot harder. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. That was a Dead Man's, uh, Dead Man's Fault or Dead Man's Cave. What was it called? Uh, I hope this song is not copyrighted. Uh, and uh, definitely great audio. And I hope you enjoyed this one. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash or Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. I'll see you around. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Oh, baby. All righty. Well, that was much shorter than I expected. Oh, it's loud. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making it. And it just quits the desktop. Lol. <laughs> no menu, no nothing. All righty. Next game, dude. We're actually we're actually getting through these at a pace that I uh, that makes us able to do all of them. Okay, so we're now we're gonna play another game with a great title. It's called Do Not Open. It is apparently a it is an escape room horror game, not just a just a regular escape room. This is a game where you have to escape from a ghost or something. Do not open, and we are gonna open it. Do not open. I'ma open it exactly. That's what I said. Uh, I would like to play this in English, not Espanol. English, please. Thank you very much. You know this game? Dude, why are you guys so much better at horror games than I am? Why do you guys know all these games? Here we go. Warning! That's not gonna stop me! Okay. So, I know there's some kind of time limit in this game. But apparently you should just turn off the time limit. Oh, what the hell? We're we're in straight away. Hello there. Yes, that's me. Excuse me. What an intro? Inheritance? Where did you say you were calling from? Oh, let's go. <laughs> Aunt Judith. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Are you kidding? It's like a movie? Suicide. Fuck. Uh oh, you can't say that on YouTube. What are you doing? Sorry. The truth is, I haven't had contact with her for a very long time. I still can't believe it. Yeah, right. Yeah, I remember it. I lived in it when I was a kid. Is that house still standing? Good voice acting. <laughs> what the hell? This was not at all what I expected I would find in this game. Your this job is, awesome. is important, but your family's more important. Julia needs her father, Michael. You should think about that before it's too late. Uh, uh-oh. Wait, what? Did he fall asleep or... Uh... <laughs> oh, no, he's fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad. Hey, let's go. Okay, so we are the guy. Do not open, dude. Nice intro. Alrighty, well, let's head in. I guess we're gonna do hi YouTube here. We'll say hi YouTube here and then we'll stitch the intro on top of it. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's go say hi YouTube. Here we go. Uh, wait, I need to... Oh, can I click out of this game without starting it? Uh, do not open. Let me just read. Do not open is a terrifying, short, and fast-paced first-person escape room experience. Based on randomness and puzzle combination and classic survival horror mechanics, each game will contain different rooms and puzzle combination uh, that you have to try to solve. Okay. Uh, there's definitely some mistranslation here. What the hell? Uh, oh, God. What's this monster? I'm just trying to figure out what the, like, the, the most descriptive way I could describe this game. You know what? Let's just start playing it. I'll describe it afterwards. Let's just go. Because I don't know what exactly the game's going to be like. Then I'll do the intro after the stream. Because then I know what the game's going to be like. I'm a genius. Here we go. Start game, please. I'm clicking. It's not starting. What the fuck? What fucked up? Help. Start game. I'm trying to start the game. It's not working. You hear that? That's me clicking the mouse on start game button. I think I have to alt F4 this one real quick. <laughs> what the fuck? Is broken. I can't open the game. Do not open. <laughs> All tabbing breaks the game. Hey, okay, get me in. Cannot open game. <laughs> Cannot open it. Diana, thank you for the 26 months. Thank you. Oh no. 
Come on. Super meta. I have to skip it now. Max Network, thank you for the Prime. All right. There we go. Can I start now? Start? Enter, maybe? Ah, I have to click enter. No click on the thing. Okay, <laughs> that's a little confusing. All right, we're gonna... How do you use subtitles? Yes, obviously. Graphics. Frame limit or frame... Why is it... What is this? What the fuck? I have to use double ASD or WASD instead of using the mouse. That's very confusing. Okay. There we go. Your changes have been applied. I did it. Now, how do I... Extras? I want to turn off the... How do I turn off the time? Is this, isn't this the game with the time limit? I swear it was. How do you turn that off? You turn it off in the game. Is there gameplay? You. There's nothing. Wait, did I, did it? Maybe I have the wrong game in my head. Uh. Let me see. Isn't this the game? There's an option to remove the time limit. I don't know how to do that though. Wait, what? Maybe you can't do it on the first playthrough. Maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll have to do it in the settings. Okay, here we go. Let's just see. Start game. Oh, here we go. Normal mode. The real challenge. Yeah, yeah, no. We do this one. Special mode. This is this is the same game, just there's no like the way this game works is if you don't solve it in an hour, you just die. Whereas this is like if you, you don't, like, arbitrarily die after an hour, I think that's much better for us. Oh, it's very quiet. Am I hanging? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh what the fuck? I... <coughs> Dad, wake up. Uh oh. Why, Dad? Dad? Julia. She's coming. What the fuck? What happened? Where's your mom? She's coming. Uh, wait, Julia. Holy shit, dude, let's go. <laughs> uh oh. Is that us or was that the lady? Who's coming? She is. All right, I'm sold. <laughs> let's get in. Here we are. All right. Well, that, that's a, one way to start your game. Holy shit. Uh, okay, what do we got? So this is, is an escape room. So we have to get the heck out of here. Uh, we got a mirror right here, but it's randomized. Oh, there's a seven on there. So every time we'll have to do something different. So if you play this for yourself, you're not going to see the exact same stuff that I'm seeing right here. Uh, that's a shiny looking toilet. Uh, I have to turn on the flashlight. Oh, wait. There's something glitched. There's a chair glitched inside the toilet. Oh, no. Uh, what's this? Something on the back? A number, maybe? Nothing on the back. Julia? Anne? Where are you? Hi, Dad. I miss looking at the pictures while we were making up stories. I have some of the phrases you used to tell me. I think you'll like them. I've hidden them for you. Okay. My guardian angel defends me from the bad guys. There's a number. One. Is there a number on this too? There's not. Okay. So my guardian angel was one. How big is this place? Let's run around. Also, I'm going to quickly turn down the volume slightly. Uh, Is that a penance room? Oh, no, we have to hide. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, uh uh You gave me the snow white mirror. That's four. Okay. Guardian angel one snow white mirror is four. I recall on Judith telling me not to play in the cornfield. 1929? That's a long time ago. 
If I don't listen to my mother, the witch will eat me. That's two? Did you just drop me off the... Uh... Oh. Headline, vomiting, dizziness, dehydration, and dementia among possible symptoms. Body information, body information on the symptoms, those suffered by Mr. Lutz before his death has been made available so that any citizen can inform the country hospital and the police if he suffers from them or knows someone who may be suspected of incubating the virus. The only information regarding the symptoms, symptoms reported to the newspaper by several citizens is the following. Dizziness, vomiting, extreme dehydration, blood clots, and according to what was verified in Lutz, hallucinations, violent outbursts, and dementia. Is this me? Do I have this illness? Uh-oh. All right. This reminds me of Our Secret Below, but a little bit more horror, or a lot more horror focused. Daddy, don't fail or it will come. Uh-oh. Okay, so we need to figure out we don't fill in a random code. Wait, maybe the mirror there was one that referred to a mirror Maybe that's the number I see I have to fight against my fears like the man who was afraid of heights. That's three There's gonna be five numbers Does this have a number on it? This also has a seven on it Is that a seven as well? There's two sevens This is definitely a no, that's a different seven. This is probably a one if this is a seven, then this is not a seven. That's probably a one. Uh, what what other numbers do we got? Over here, maybe? Aha, okay. So we need to piece these together. So this is guardian angel, I see. Guardian angel, which was um, this one. My guardian angel defends me from the bad guys. So guardian angel is gonna be one, or it's gonna be the first number. So it's six is the first, okay? So we need to find all those notes and then put them in order. I have to fight against my fears. This is the third one. The man who was afraid of heights. This one. So it's six blank nine. Six blank nine. And what's this? Snow White is gonna be the fourth number. We need one more note, I think. Or, so, or maybe... I don't listen to my mother. Okay, this is the, the witch will eat me. Okay. Wait, this is about eating. I'm guessing this is gonna be <laughs> this one. So it's gonna be 619. 619. And then the third number was this one. Oh no, that, that was. Wait, what was the fourth number again? The fourth number is. This one. The Snow White Mirror. So the fourth number is seven. Okay, so we have 6197. But we need. Yeah, okay, here we go. 6, 1. Nine, seven, confirm. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Oh God. Heights. Run. Uh oh. I'm safe here. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Was that real? Uh, it says exit, but is something in here? Careful with the noise you make when moving, especially running. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't like that. I'm just gonna walk. I'm gonna be very quiet. Who is here? Looks like a demon lady. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Now, what the hell was that? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I think we found what's chasing us. What the hell was that? I must find them. Why do you want to find them, you stupid? Please don't. Please try to stay away from them and just get the hell out of here. Okay, so wait, we can't run? We need to not run. I'm just gonna run. What's the worst that could happen? Guess we go chase them. Can we go up there? Is there even a lat is there a stairs going up? There's no stairs? We need to find a crowbar to break this open. I need something to remove this. I see. Okay, we need to find a crowbar. Do you have something for us? Uh, maybe this. Thank you. Uh, it's fucking dead by daylight. Excuse me. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, well, there were two ways we could go, by the way, and we decided to go here. Don't look at them. Okay. 
At who? Don't look at who? Can we look in here? We cannot look in there. That is, uh, someone did not want anyone to go in there, huh? This game's awesome. Uh, can I hide under there? What's this? Oh, I can crouch underneath here? I see. We can hide, but we have to crouch under there. I see, I see. What's this? We have five pins, and we need to hang something there. What's this? Can I read this, please? Please. There. Vomiting this- yeah, this is the same one. Okay, it's the exact same post. We already read that one. Uh, that's a butcher knife. We can hang that up. Okay, we need to loot all of this. This is exact same- headline! The Judith Mansion is once again inhabited. The so-called mansion of the, of the Judith, an original construction from the 18th century, born on a plantation prior to the Civil War, is once again inhabited. After the death of Judith Korang, great-great-granddaughter of the first Judith to live here, the mansion had been empty for months. Finally, his grandson, Michael Korang, an expert virologist and zoologist, from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology will take up residence there with this family. Uh-oh, we made a mistake. Going to a haunted house, terrible idea. Okay, so we're finding all these utensils and then hanging them up. And we got a, this is part of the puzzle. The order is gonna be important here. We have different knives for cutting different things. Wait, you cut poop with a poop knife? Why oh, you got a poop knife? Excuse me, <laughs> what the fuck? Never heard of that. Okay, so we have two knives. Need to find some more. Poop knife. Hi there. Pretty painting. Can I hide in there? I can probably hide in there. Yes, okay. That's, uh, they're giving me too many hiding spots. This is making me nervous. Oh, uh, what's this? One? It's encircled. Uh, oh no, I can do that. Uh, interesting. I don't know what Shit, that is. I'm messing it up. Wait. That means someone's gonna come here? Shit, I'm messing it up. I just clicked C. I just wanted to see what would happen. Do I not look at you guys? Uh, there's so many codes everywhere. Jeebus. What's this? Aha! Okay, so six, it's one, three, four, five, seven, eight. Is there some pattern to this? Wait, what numbers do we got over here? Let's look. We have, what does this even mean? This one? There's four options here. Shit, I'm messing it up. What do you mean? Shit, I'm messing it up. This doesn't look <laughs> Oh, I messed it up. I messed it up big time. I mess. I'm, um, I regret my words and my deeds. What the fuck just happened? Is that, uh, the, is that like the blood eagle thing from the Vikings? Did you see that at their back? That looked like some real fucked up shit. Why okay? All right, don't guess. Don't guess stuff. It's bad. Okay, what's this? Ah, uh, what's that? How does that help me? <laughs> I'm too stupid for this. I don't know how to solve this puzzle. Okay, so we have six and nine. Six and nine are. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Well, I was just in time, man. Jesus. <laughs> okay, can you leave this area? I made a great mistake getting that wrong. <laughs> Wait, how the fuck? Where's she gonna go? Wait, excuse me? There's no way to leave this place. Is she just here? 
Oh, she can go there. Okay. So what do we do with this? There is this. Six. What have I done? No! What the fuck? Oh! oh my god. Okay. Uh, don't make too many mistakes. All right. Noted. <laughs> Don't just randomly get shit, because you're gonna get killed! <gasps> Good god, man. Okay, 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 okay. Let's, uh, let's rewind that. Just go back in here, pretend like nothing ever happened. Can I even go there? Okay. Jesus Christmas, man. Shit, I'm messing it up. <laughs> okay, we might have to leave. If we do that again, we might have to leave an area. I mean, it's smart. Wait, does this look different, or is that just me? Wait. Is this different? Oh no, mini game. There. Good. Oh, we're back here. Okay, so we do keep the same puzzle, but it's different numbers this time. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, grab this. But there's also different numbers. Oh, is it the total sum? The total sum of all the numbers or something? Don't make me fucking do maths. No maths, please. Uh, so we have 44, 42. 22 and 20 I mean 22 and 20 are not encircled so I would say click in this corner right here but I don't know Do we just add everything together 9 19 31 uh wait I can't even read the half of this okay uh, I don't think that's gonna be the answer unless it is uh, 44, 49, 40, 59, uh, 66, 76, 80, 90, uh, 117, 138, 138. Does that do anything? I don't think that does anything. <laughs> Is that the sum of all of these? I don't think so. This doesn't make any sense. Uh, wait, is it? 80, 86. Uh, no. 86. It's just 10 off. It's it's 128. If I My math might be off, but anyway. Uh, it doesn't matter, because it's not the same. I would say this. Is this something with a rose? Is it something with rose? Let's see. So we have four, five... I don't understand this. What am I looking at? I mean, I'm thinking... Because there's only one choice I can make, right? Or maybe I have to do them in order. I wish my flashlight was less bright so I could actually read all the fucking numbers. Oh, God. Is he coming? I'm trying to solve the damn puzzle. Every row and every column sums to the same amount. Does it? Let's see. Oh, because... You can't fill in numbers here. Like, I can't... Unless I can? No, I can only select it. Like, I can't do anything here. Because there's no number... I can just confirm. All I can do is confirm. I'm not entirely sure. I would say this one, but I'm gonna... Let's just try this. This doesn't look right. Okay, fuck me. Is she coming immediately? Yeah, obviously the middle row sums to 64. But, and the other row, and the other middle row also sums to 64. But then what do you do with the rest of the information? Like, okay, wait, so then... You can figure out, you have to figure out what to put here. You can't know that, because these numbers... Yeah, you can't know that. I don't think we can do that one yet, unless I'm just stupid. Uh, let's just look around. I don't think we can do that. Let's just go to a different area. I mean, I feel like we can do something here. Because this is the only... Oh, God. Is she coming? Can we phone her friend? I mean, you guys are friend. Does anyone have any idea? I don't... I'm pretty sure I don't know what the fuck. It's only now... Yeah. Enter... Oh, maybe select. Wait, here we go. 
Aha, uh -huh, so we do can we can fill in a number. I see. We have to select and then fill in a number. Okay. So we have to make them all sum up to 64. Cuz the middle rows sum up to 64. So here we can just go 20. Is there only one solution to this? It feels like there should be more than one solution. Okay, so then we do uh also 20 here. Sure, whatever. Uh no, 22 here. Which then this sums to 64, check. Then we need to do this one. Uh, oh god, 18. Oh, wait, more than that. 28, am I stupid? Why do you make these noises? No, 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 it's gotta be less than this. Uh, 18. Wait, am I stupid? 8. That's, no, that's, it's gotta be 8. Whoops. Uh, yes. Why is this behind me? Is she here? Okay. Wait, am I dumb? Oh, this is fine. Uh, and then this one is gotta be... Uh... Oh god. 14? And that works! No, that doesn't work. This doesn't work. Wait. Oh, I filled in 12 instead of 20? That's why my brain stopped working. I was like, wait, why is this not aligning? There we go. Yeah, yeah, I'm stupid. Oh, you know why? Because when you press A and D, it adds and does it does minus a 10. That's why I tried to move my cursor to the opposite side. But while doing that, I, I, I deducted 10 from the from the amount. I see. OK, that's was that was why I was stupid. So uh, now this has to be a negative number. So that doesn't work. <laughs> so this has got to be less. This has to be less. Um, let's just make it 10, whatever. Uh, I don't know if there's a unique solution to this. It feels like there wouldn't be. Uh, and this one is just going to be... 30. Oh, you wait. The highest you can do is 28. Of course. Okay. Okay. So we can go all the way up. So we have to... Then, then there will be a unique solution. Okay. So in this case, we have 50 already. So we just need to make this one. Oh God, I need to make this one. 50. Am I stupid? This seems right. Uh, then this one is already almost too high. Am I being attacked? Can you only use the encircled numbers? Is that what? Oh, I see. You can only use those numbers. I'm stupid. Okay, so let's see. Which number do we put in the top right corner? We need to put like a low number there. I mean, we could put 10 there. This sucks. This is such a specific math problem. Well, it's not really, I mean, it's kind of math. Let's just put 10 there. And what, so 10, then we need, uh, no, but then we need 10 again, which we can't, or can you multiply them? Can you duplicate? The middle is gonna, oh, the middle. Yeah, wait a minute, but how is the diagonal gonna sum up to 64? Uh, or does the diagonal not matter? Is there even a way we could possibly do that? I don't think so. The diagonals are not going to sum up to 64. I don't think that 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 is possible. Let's do 22 or 12 here, which then we only have that. Then we can put stop doing that. OK, can we use eight? Uh, can we use eight? I'm stuck in the screen. We cannot use eight. OK, this does not work. Uh. Man, we if we can use so few low numbers, or uh, we have to use uneven numbers. What if we use five and thirteen? And this is too much. This is too much math for my for my small brain. That's also trying to survive this lady. Uh, thirteen would be seventy or uh, seven fifty-seven. Then you could make this one. Uh, wait, am I stupid? 57? But we can't even use... We can only use 5. If we use 15 there, low number at this... Dude, the controls in this game are so fucked, man. It's like, I, sometimes it's WASD, sometimes it's E, sometimes it's C. <laughs> it's so fucking annoying. Okay, um, here we go. 15, that would be 59. Then we could put 5 here. Then we have 64. And then this becomes 47. Then we just have to put 
17 here? Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. And now we have 37. Uh, then we put... 7. There's something with 7 again. Wait, do we even have it? Oh, 27. Yes. Wait, does that... That works? That works? We did it? Yes. I think this is it. 27. Yes. I think so. Confirm. This doesn't look... Oh, wait, huh? Is it not circled? Wait, am I stupid? Did I not t count it properly? Oh god, is she gonna kill us? Wait. Oh no, it does- Hey, this should work. Wait, what? Am I stupid or does this- Don't they all add up to- Wait. Huh? Oh, they have to be placed in a specific order to- No. Wait. I'm counting and it seems like all the rows are fine. I think they're all right. 27 is circled, guys. I think you add up each row for each space. Wait, this definitely is right. I did it. This all the so all the 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 rows and the the columns count up to 64, but it's not right according to this guy. And we only used numbers that were encircled as well. So I don't really know what you want from me then. What the fuck do I do? Try it in a different order? But... Oh, I didn't use 44. 44 is an already put in number. Wait. Are, wait. You know what might have happened here? Is that there's multiple solutions, but the game only accepts one of them? So I filled in one of the solutions. But the game... Requires me to use another 17 here. Why that doesn't that doesn't work What if you can't use these circled numbers that would be stupid as fuck What But you can only use the numbers that are not circled switch five with 15 Five with 15 but like this is now now we're gonna fuck up everything this is never gonna add up to 20 to 64 if you don't put a high number here we have the con this is right this is correct i don't know what's going on why doesn't this why doesn't it accept my solution the diagonals can never add up to 64 because the maximum number you have is 26 27. Wait, did I just miscount? Am I 10 off? Wait, let's see. Uh, five. No, I'm not. This is right. This is the solution. <laughs> it should be. Math. You had 12 instead of 15. Hop needs to get 44. Wait, is that what we... Is that what we got to do? Wait. Is the, the puzzle is to try and make the... The top row be 44, the numbers that you can fill in? Has the person who made this game never seen any of these puzzles? That is not at all what a puzzle like this does. That doesn't make any sense. Puzzles like these add all the rows up to the same number. Okay, I see. So we have to add... So these two numbers that we can fill in have to add up to 44. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. I see. What numbers do we have? We have 24. Do we have 20 as well? We don't have 20. Um, wait, but this seems impossible. Wait, what? So then 27 is really the only option there. Oh, God. Um, and then, uh, 17. Wait, no. Yes. No. Yes. Then uh, this one has to also be. So we do this. <laughs> this, this is the only option you could do this. <laughs> This doesn't make any sense. Is this what we do? I can't get the solution. Ah! What do you mean? Uh, this doesn't make any sense. This is so fucking stupid. Wait. Oh, yeah, but these don't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I added all of them up to 24. Sorry, I'm stupid. Okay, so this one just has to be five. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I, I made a mistake. Uh, This one has to be 50. Okay. This, this is... Okay, here we go. All of them, so what we tried to do is add all of the columns and rows up to the same. We, we solved a way harder puzzle than they gave us, by the way. 
this puzzle was much easier than the one we solved <laughs> where we because it is it's just a coincidence that the co that the middle columns add up to the same amount this got to be the solution so all of the rows add up to the amount that's fixed so the top row adds up to 44 the right column adds up to 20 22 the bottom adds up to 20 and the left column adds up to 42 this has got to be the solution there you go jesus seven seven eight eight okay man that was much harder than it had to be seven seven eight eight okay now where do we fill that in my brother in christ too much math uh i'm not seeing oh oh we also need to find more knives there we go thank you these flies are making me lose my mind pretty sure back here there was something you could fill in a number nice wait do we almost have all of them isn't there something here how many knives do we got uh let's see we only have two of them oh so when we died it took away our, our utensils so we have to find them again okay understood uh what the hell is this looks like a woman hiding her daughter find hiding hinting from some what the fuck is this <laughs> You don't have to be Nazi police to have trouble reading this sentence. From someone or something. <laughs> Give me more knives. Okay, the knives randomly spawn as well. So we really got to stop dying. Because we're going to have to solve these puzzles over and over again. Good. Good indeed. Right, what else do we got? Uh, for this recipe, we must follow these steps. For, okay, so first we carve the meat. Meat. Then we proceed to pe peel the fruits. And use the household knife to cut the cheese. So household knife for cheese. Uh, now we have to split the bones. And finally, we have to spread evenly the cream. So we have five knives. We, so meat, fruit, cheese, bone, cream. Meat, fruit, cheese, bone, cream. And then which knives do we need for those? We need these specific knives. Okay. We need to find... This is going to be the order of the knives. Okay, so we just need to find all the knives first. Uh, and we still need to figure out where to fill in that other code. Is she anywhere? Look around. What the heck... Where do I use the code that you gave me? This game is big brain, that's for sure. Can I open these? I can open these, but nothing in there. That's locked. Uh, what? Power of the Occult, the Anti-Tam, laments in the Gettysburg case. One of the bloodiest battles, even bloodier than Gettysburg, of the Amer American Civil War was also fought in the vicinity of the Manor House. In this battle, fought barely 10 miles from the property, more than 22,000 soldiers fell in a single day. Uh, it is said that the trumpets and lamentations of the Confederates killed in combat in a battle without a victor can still be heard. A witness who wished to, rem to remain anonymous assures that they want to return to obey the commander Robert E. Lee in a future revenge order to win the war. What the fuck? No. Don't make noise. This lady is coming. There's way too many hiding spots everywhere. Also, what the fuck is going on here? Is this guy dead? Wait! <laughs> That's an obviously photoshopped face. <laughs> Who's that? Is that the developer? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Look at that dude. Who's that? <laughs> You're pretty sus, my guy. <laughs> oh, another knife. Let's go. Okay. We already have three knives. We just need to find a few more. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, did we already saw this? Okay. So this area, we're gonna find the knives. We might have to go to the other side as well. I don't know where we're gonna use the 7788 code. 
Let's, let's quickly look around if there's anything here that we could put a code into. Don't think so. I don't see anything. Oh, was this? Julia's homework. Notebook. Oh my God! They explained it. <laughs> they explained the fucking puzzle in the math book when we had to be figured it out by ourselves. <laughs> God damn it! All right, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'm not mad. I'm not. Mad. Oh, here we go. This is where we fill it in. Okay, seven, 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 eight, eight. There. Oh, whoops, confirm. Nice. And then we get a E. I saved the game, maybe? I'm not sure. Okay. We did it, guys. Can we open this door? This door does not open with that key. Wait, what did I find? Can I look at my inventory? I cannot look at my inventory. All right. We'll just have to keep in mind that we got a key now. Let's go to the other side. I don't know if we're going to find... Ah! My good God, man! Jesus Christ! I'm just trying to chill, brother! Holy fuck, okay. Let's go uh, get out of here, please. <laughs> we need to go to the other side. Cause there was a, a door that you could open over there if I can find even the exit. Uh, I think it's this way. I think so. Can we even leave? We can leave, okay. If we find any more knives, we, uh, never mind. We can't leave. Okay, so as soon as you go into an area, you're locked in that area until you solve all the puzzles, I'm guessing. And we need to find the knife. We need to find two more knives so we can solve the knife puzzle. Where are those? Where are the knives? You just got a left wall strap, this bitch. Oh, there. Wait, they're in here. Uh huh. There you go. Wait, is this all? I think we got them all. Okay, so now we need to figure out the order. So for that, we need to go back to this. Uh, we need to do the meat knife first, which is... Meat knife first is this one. Uh, move this one over to this. Yes, swap them. And then the fruit knife, which is... Aren't fruit... Is pumpkin technically a fruit? So the big knife? Then the household knife for cheese, okay. Then the bone knife, which is the big machete. So the big knife, the small knife. Wait, we don't have the big knife. Excuse me? Oh, wait, there's also an... Wait. Oh, there's the, the apple. It's being peeled. Okay, I see. The small knife. So that one's already in the right place. Then we use the household knife for cheese. Here we go. This knife for the cheese. And the big knife for the bone, and the small knife for this. Here we go. Let's go. I'm a genius. Okay, do we combine those? Aha. And now we have a key. Let's go. <laughs> we are beginning to believe. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hate it here. I hate it here. I hate it here. Oh, she's going to be... She's going to be <laughs> patrolling this area now while we have to get out. Oh, God. 30 second king, thank you for the 13 months. Uh oh. I hate this. Okay. Where the fuck do we go? Do we just go where she just came from? Don't sprint, don't sprint, just walk. Oh, this is spooky. Hopefully, we're faster than her. Wait, is this door. Just walk. Don't sprint. Don't attract the lady. And then we go in here. This door bro was broken down. Yes. Uh, that looks like I probably can't go there. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, wait. I can. Let's go! Nice. This is a cool game. It's a bit, it's a bit complicated. But we're doing it. <laughs> what is going on here? Nice. What is this thing chasing me? This is my home, but at the same time, it's not. The old house that belonged to Aunt Judith looks different. I have to get out of here, no matter how. 
<laughs> yeah, this does look like the police departments from Resident Evil, kind of. Alrighty, so that was one side. We solved one side. I see. So, well, what we have learned a lot. Obviously, there's puzzles in each of these areas. If you mess up too many times, the lady comes in. Once you solve all the puzzles, the lady also comes in, and then you need to get out. So, don't mess up too many times, because then you're going to have to solve all the puzzles while the lady is attacking you, which is going to be terrible. <laughs> Here we go. So now we need to solve the other side of the puzzles. Uh, a good way to hide is to crouch behind an object. Okay, you can do that. Alrighty. I love how the... Look at the, the reticle. The reticle is reflected in the glass. <laughs> nice. Okay. What puzzles await us here? I think we can just sprint around. As long as she is not here. We should be okay. Oops. Fuck you! <laughs> Son of a bitch. I can't do that, I'm too focused. Okay, we can crouch under there. God, man. We need to find puzzles. So there's, there were two puzzles in the last area. That means there's gonna be two puzzles here. Uh, fish? That's a fish plant? Is that fish food? Oh boy, we have to play... We have to play a melody. Oh no. <laughs> Do we? Yes, probably. Okay, so we need to figure out the colors. Colors and the keys. What does this mean? So the 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 fish is green. I'm guessing it's 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 in a plant, so it's got to be green. Oh no, never mind. Banana. Oh, it's the color of the pots. It's red. Okay. And this one, so fish is red, banana is green. Okay, fish is red, banana green. Remember that? I I'm counting on you guys. Can I not open this? Why? And? Okay, this door doesn't even want to interact with me. This place is pretty cursed. Fish, red, banana, green. We got a green banana. We need to find some more. I mean, this is a pretty nice looking place. Wait, a freaking greenhouse? Dude, what a fancy ass house. Oh no, it's one of these games. No! Are you kidding me? I hate these. I'm so bad at these. Oh God. Oh no. Okay. Where do we gotta go? Where do we go? Wait, where do we got? Oh, in the hole over there. Oh, no. No! Okay, this is fine. I hope this is not gonna eventually trigger the lady. That would be really bad. Oh, fuck. Well, let's do it first in case we get it wrong. We'll die right away. Okay, that's fine. No! I was doing so well. I think this is the way to go. Back here. We can go down and then go as much to that side as possible. Yes. And we go down here. And as much to that side as possible. What? I've been scammed. Look at this. Look at this speed run. Insane speed run. Uh. Okay, go slow. Fuck you! Okay, at least it can't go up. I don't want to go up. Would be so hard, dude. Why is the ball so shaky? Just go very slow. Yes, yes. Okay, there. Now we go up. And there, yes. Let's go! Easy peasy. I did it. I have a ball now. Okay. Nice. I hope the lady didn't... <laughs> what was this? Oh, and then we put the ball in here. And then we solved our first puzzle that easily. Okay. <laughs> That's much easier than the math puzzle. <laughs> Now we just have to find more, uh, more plants. Oh, there we go. Uh, tree is purple. Tree is purple. Add it to the list. Add it to the list, guys. I'm counting on you. And then last one. Where's the last one? Uh, yellow apple. Yellow apple. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. So banana first. So green first. Green first. Green banana. And then uh what is apple is yellow. And tree is purple or blue, I guess. And then fish is red. Good. Let's go. The easiest puzzles. What? This did we solved this in like five minutes, whereas the other one took us forever. Okay. She's coming in. Uh oh. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Oh god. This is a very cool game. I think we just gotta go where she came from, right? Please tell me I can open this door. She just came through this door, right? Yes. She's coming. Go, 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 go. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Alrighty. We're smarty pants. Oh, next story. I've been selfish all my life. Now it's clear to me. I thought I was doing this to help others. But I realized that I was feeding my ego first and foremost. I have neglected you, and you are the most important thing I have. Without you, I'm nothing. I have finished my research. Now I just want to spend time with my daughter. I know that I have broken my promises many times, that I've hurt you, Why is she not and that I have no forgiveness. Have a I don't know what to say, Michael. Don't say anything. Just think about it. Because if you accept, I'm willing to change our lives. They're driving through the snow and she doesn't Forever. have a seatbelt? You are truly selfish. Oh, baby. All right, well, we solved two. Is there more? More ways to go. Or do we use both of the... Oh, there's another area here. Okay, well. <laughs> uh, I missed some... What? Good. Okay. Good indeed. And now we can go up. We can go in here. There's so many of these puzzle areas. What the heck? I like the way they tell the story. Like slowly they give you little story bits every time you solve puzzles. Not to like uh, lore dump all at once. Okay, we need another key to get out of here. Don't look at them. Uh, note it, note it. Okay. This is a very awesome, with a nice Z fighting you got going on there. Oh boy, what's this? Bergensville City Hall. Please come to town on Town Hall on October 30 to register the inheritance of the property property 834D. Is there some order in this? It's 2345, obviously. Do we need to do something with this? Cause inheritance. All right, well, we'll we'll keep that in mind. Maybe that'll be useful later. I'm not sure. <laughs> the heater from Phasmo. Uh, where are the puzzles? Two puzzles once again. Doggy. It's a, okay, we need a word or we need three letters. Okay. Or four letters, sorry, I can't count. Four letters. Where do we get those? Not in there. Need to play some eight ball. Go up here. Frickin' baby. I bark. I'm not trying anything because if we try something and we get it wrong, the lady is gonna kill us. These guys are everywhere. Uh, silver. Is this gonna be important? Not sure. Those are some TVs. We can go in there. We can go in here. Oh. 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 Good. Uh, watch the television. Hide under there. Oh, that's why we couldn't get in here. Good. Anything over here? Excuse me. 
No puzzles? Razor blades? He can spell good boy. Yes. Did we die from the lady? Yes. Yet? Yes, we have. When we fucked up the puzzle at the start. He got real mad. And this place is a whole lot bigger than before. Or than any of the previous places. I mean, we can't jump, right? No. No jumping in this game. I don't know what upstairs is all about, but let's check over here. Puzzles? This place is huge? Excuse me. Is this randomly generated? This feels procedurally generated. Like, these rooms don't do anything. What's the game called? It's called Do Not Open. Oh my god. <laughs> hey? Uh, I would like to hang up, please. I would like to hang up the phone. Yeah, no, thank you. What the fuck, man? Uh, we got a letter. Don't look back. Dad. No! Stop it! Stop it! Everyone, chill out, please! Okay, then. What the fuck? Oh, what's this? Uh, I'm reading this through the wall? Is this... Wait. Ah, <laughs> uh, Lolo! Lolo is the name of the dog. Wait, did I just cheat? Walk Lolo for a while. I might consider going to pray. Purchase a toy for Julia again. Ask if the medicine parcel has arrived. Send money through transfer. Send conventional mail. I fucked things up with Anne again. I'll buy her a ring. Okay, lo low, 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 low. Looks like it's following the sequence. What do oh. I do with that? I See? think it needs a key. What? Following a sequence? What do you mean? I mean, Lolo is for. We can't go in here. Oh wait, we can't go in here. Never mind then. I think it needs a key. Oh, that needs a key. All right, let's just fill Lolo in on the dog. What are those marks? Oh, I see. But let's try Lolo first. I hope that works. And then we need to do the order of the schedule on the map. I see. I see. I see. Lolo. We can fill that in. Oh. Oh, no. Here we go. It's wrong? Isn't your name Lolo? What? We're stupid? Apparently not. Wait, what? I swear the... What? Did I read it wrong? Is it Lola? I guess we need to figure out something else. Yeah, walk Lolo for a while. I don't... Huh? Okay, I guess not. Unless it's something else, but okay. Uh, let's see. So we need to... Might consider going to pray. So we need to walk Lolo for a while. So maybe park, then church, then toy store. So church or park, church, toy store. Is there a park? There's a park. Park. Okay. Looks like the path starts at this place. Church. This doesn't look right. Uh-oh. Wait, what? Uh... Do we pray somewhere else? Do we pray at the cemetery? Wait, oh, it's out of order? Wait, what? Oh, it's out of order, you piece! Okay. I thought it was two days, two schedules. Okay, they're out of order. Okay, so park. Then, uh... Park... Post postal office. Park, postal office, toy store. Uh, am I stupid? I mean, let's just, just, just write it down. Park first. Then it's postal office. Then it's toy store. Then it's jeweler. Uh, then it's... Wait, no. It's not post... Wait. And, oh, no, it's a medicine. It's uh, not medicine. It's uh, the, the pharmacy. Sorry. Uh, park, pharmacy, park, pharmacy, jeweler, postal office, 
Oh no, I forgot Toy Story. Jesus Christ. I need to write this down. I need to write this down on a freaking piece of paper. This is too much at once. I'm writing it down. I know you guys can write it down too, but I'm writing it down as well. Uh, okay. So we start off with Park. Park. Uh, then it is 7.30 a.m. Ask of Medicine. So Pharmacy. Then it is 10.30 a.m., which is Toy Store. Then it is... Uh, 11 25 a.m which is jeweler then we do um and 25 p.m or no a uh, postal office postal office then it is a uh, church and then it is money transfer bank that's it right we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Okay, we got it. Okay. So let's fill that in. Let's fill in the order of the of the schedule. So we start with the park. Then we do pharmacy. Yes. Then we go toy store. Then we go to the jeweler. Please select it. Jeweler. Then we go to the postal office. Uh, dude, I went all over town. Postal office, church, and then the Maryland Bank. Yes. Awesome. I got it. Let's go. Okay. Nice. Very well done. Easy peasy puzzle. Now we need to figure... I swear this makes no sense. Why does the dog name not work? Oh, so we... Oh, wait. This key works here. Wait. Huh? What's this? What the hell? Is this a heart pin? What is that? It's a heart? A hand holding a heart? Uh oh. Is she gonna come in? Wait, what's that all about? It's a monkey paw? What is that Lolo? They should have just said walk dog for a while instead of Lolo because it makes the other puzzle very confusing. Alright. Uh, now we need to figure out what the hell we fill in on the dog. Which is not Lolo, apparently. There's something of a hint here? How is it not Lolo? <laughs> it can't be Lola! No. I don't understand. Something at the couch? Maybe is this? Oh, this is a cult. Oh, wait. Power of the Occult 1, the murder of Joshua Harley. The two competed for control of the town. This rivalry, en rivalry ended with Joshua's disappearance. Never to be heard from again. I'm sure the wounds on his body were not self-inflicted and his partner, Bur Burkitt, finish finished him off. What's more, his ghost still roams the Black Hills, forest, and the entire area clamoring for revenge. Okay. We need to figure out what the fuck we fill in there. Um, I guess we- ah! 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 Jesus. <laughs> That's so unexpected, man. Okay. Where the f where the heck is the dog? Why do we- wh what do we do for the dog? I don't understand. I feel like Lola is such an obvious answer there. Or low low, sorry. Is that I mean Lola would be a more a more normal dog name than Lolo. But it, that's not what it said. It said Lola. You could fill in Anne, but why? Why would it be Anne? Doggo. Yeah. Let's fill in Doggo. First the monkey paw. We already have it. Maybe it's evil. Resident Evil. What the fuck? I'm looking around everywhere. It doesn't make any fucking sense. It it 100% says Lolo. I press confirm. Yeah. Wait, did I did it somehow not accept it? Because it didn't say like I fucked it up.
Like when I click confirm it, let's try. Yeah, see it like, oh God, it shakes the whole thing. It's definitely, it's definitely wrong. But what the fuck do we do? I don't understand. Maybe it's something with this. I don't understand. Oh, Judith Elizabeth Elizabeth McGlynn Gorang. Is it J E M G? That would make so little sense. Is it J E M G? That is so dumb. If that's the answer, I'm gonna riot. J, can you even fill in a J? No, you can't. Okay, so this is not the answer. I, I, I'm happy with that. Because there is no J. Holo. Holo. Right, Anne. Can we even fill in Anne? Don't have an N. Can't fill an N. Holo. Doesn't make any sense. Lolo and not lo loyo. There was an N. Oh, there's an N. Is it gonna be N? That doesn't make any sense in the slightest. If it's N, I'm gonna lose my mind. Why? Why make it Anne and not the dog name? Shit, I'm messing it up. No. Okay, it's not Anne. All right. What the fuck? What else is it? Oh no! No 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 no! I meant to get away from there. I didn't mean to do it again. Fuck! Oh god. Uh, I don't know what the hell we're trying to do. What is even happening? Yeah, she's gonna come next time I get it wrong. They really fucked it up with- maybe it's lo No, it can't be loyal because that would make... The I, the ca a capital letter for no reason. That would make zero sense. Jesus, just try Lola. Why? Why? Like, t explain to me why. Like, in normal human English, instead of Twitch chat, I just think it's Lola, okay? Like, that's not how humans communicate. Like, I know that's how you communicate when you're using the Twitch chat chat function, but we're normal people here. It doesn't... Is that... Are you... Read the word. Does it say Lola? It clearly says Lolo. Look... Look at the word. It clearly says Lolo. Look. Lolo. You see that right there? That's Lolo. Not Lola. Understand? Do I have to make it clear? There. Now I don't want to hear any of it. I don't want to hear any of it. Okay, what the fuck? Uh, I'm lost. I just genuinely don't know what to do. I got stun locked. This is what I talked about earlier as well. When, when was that? When, oh yeah, with the, with Life is Strange. Remember when I had to like get the thing and I had to solve that one puzzle. When there is so many, when the solution is so simple, like, and it should just be low, low, my brain stops looking for other solution. Like, I don't know how to solve it now. Cause I'm just like, I'm like, this should be the answer. So my brain is like, all right, we're done here. Let's move on to the next thing. But then I'm like, wait a minute. We're not done here. It's from the TV. Do we look at the TV? Is there, where's the TV again? Lalo. Lilo and Stitch. Is that the only animal? Isn't there a t wait, there's no TV over here? I swear there was. I'm so confused. Maybe you need something else first and then come by that. There was a flyer by the TV. I already read that one, or, or is there another one? Oh here! Television? I can't interact with this. I can crouch underneath here. But that's not really... That doesn't really do anything for me. I mean, there doesn't seem to be anything here. There's also a very weird light. Not this one. The bigger TV. The one in the living room. Wait, there's the TV here. 
Wait, where's the big TV? I don't remember ever seeing a big TV. Bigger TV went by it. Is it upstairs? There was a paper with TVs. Yeah, there was. But like, what would that have to do with anything? What if the word is walk? <laughs> there was a paper here with TVs on it. What would that do though? Is it gonna be blue? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Why? Okay. Uh, so this is the dog solution. Okay, so we have Morse code. So instead of just using the fucking dog name, we have to go look at the television, which will then give us a Morse code answer for the damn puzzle on the dog. Okay, man, that is a stupid puzzle. Okay, let's go to the television. There's no Morse code. Doesn't make any noise. Is there any other thing? A radio? Is there a radio? Where's the radio? Oh, here? This thing? I can't turn it on. What the fuck? This maybe? TV next to the flyer? There was one near the ad. Oh, there's this! Oh, of course. Okay, here we go. Well, let's type it out. Okay, well, start start again. Start again. I'm, it's too late. Alright, I, I I'm gonna need the power of Twitch chat here. <laughs> okay. The first, the first one. Long, short, short. Short, long. Short, long, short. Long, short, long. All right, you got that? You wrote that down? You wrote that down for me? All right, here we go. Thank you, guys. You guys are amazing. Okay. Um, so the first letter is going to be D. D. Then we have... Oh, God. There's too much shit happening. Can you guys put more spaces in between these? Because... Oh, and then short long, which is... What? It's A, D, A. D, A. D, A, R. D, A, R. D, A, R, K. D, A, R, K. Dark. Okay. Dark is what it spells. All right. Well, here we go. We did it. That was way more complicated than it ever had to be, but all right. <laughs> My good God. Dark. 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 There. I did it. You happy now? <laughs> Thank you. All right. I mean, all they had to do to make that puzzle less confusing was just not give the dog a name. That was all. Because besides that, I think it was actually a good puzzle. It was just confusing because they gave the dog a name in the story. Okay. Now we just need to get the fuck out of here. Oh, boy. Hopefully she doesn't look under here. Uh-oh. Nice feet you got. I have to wait for a little bit because you can still see over the stairs. I think I can go. Go, 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 go. Wait, she broke this door down? Oh, there it is. Easiest game of my life. Go, go, go! Ah, oh, she's coming! Go! <laughs> okay, there we go. Where's mom? Nice. <laughs> She's at work. Oh, will she be back too late? Honey, we have to take care of mom. She needs time, and besides, now we can spend more time together. Hmm. She's writing about Burkittsville and becoming very popular in town, you know. Dad, will you stay with me until I fall asleep? <laughs> he looks a little creepy. <laughs> sure, my love. I love...
my lady. They did very well with these story cutscenes because they're so cool that it really makes me want to continue uh, and solve the rest. Also, what the heck? We go down here now. Uh oh. <laughs> That's kind of sick. I'm taking a screenshot. What's in this hole? Is there any other way we could go? Wait, did we solve everything? All right. Let's see. Oh, baby. So this, that was probably about the disease that we read about in one of the newspapers. Also, there's a lot of, lots of human bones here. That doesn't look very good. Uh, what's this? Dad, I can't help you from here. Uh-oh. Do you want to cross the rift? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't really have any context to this choice. I guess I'll say yeah. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> oh. We made it? What the heck? In the facility? The frick? Oh, code. Turn clockwise until the first number matches the red arrow, etc. 2847. We turn clockwise first. Okay. Uh, two, eight, four, seven. Confirm. Wait, am I stupid? Did I not? Wait, what? Wait, I wrote. Do I. Wait, do I have to click the opposite way? I rotated clockwise, right? Wait, huh? Am I stupid? This is counterclockwise. Two, Eight, four, seven. That's wait, but I went clockwise the first time, right? That that's clockwise. Two, eight, four, seven. Oh my god, I went too far. <laughs> this is clockwise. We're doing it right. Two, eight, four, seven. Uh huh. Am I stupid? Turn clockwise until the sec- Okay, what do we- what the fuck? Turn clockwise until the first number matches the red arrow. Turn clockwise until the second- Oh, wait, huh? Wait, it just lies! Wait, what? <laughs> it says clockwise, but the fucking image is going counterclockwise. <laughs> what? I've been- I've been scammed. <laughs> okay, so we turn it clockwise- Three times, okay. And then we turn it counterclockwise for the last one. What the fuck? That's such bullshit. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what did it say? Anything else at the end? Finally, turn it counterclockwise towards the last digit as to be able to unlock the door. Okay. Why? <laughs> it's so dumb. Okay, so two, two, eight. Wait. It doesn't work! It doesn't work! If I keep rotating, it never locks in the number. I have to go the other way. Otherwise, it doesn't lock in the number. Wait, what? I guess this is not the code. This doesn't make any sense. Oh, there's multiple of them. Are you kidding? Oh, we have to fill it in for ourselves! Oh my god, I'm gonna become the Joker. <laughs> okay, what's my name? 
Do we remember? Okay, I see. I see. I'm stupid. Fernando. So this is not it. I'm not gonna save Xavier or Xavier or whatever. George Carter. Andrew Anderson. Do we know who we are? Uh, what the hell? It's like uh, an eye shower. Oh yeah, I remember those from science class. M shower. We need to read some stuff before we unlock it. This is cool. What a new environment. What the hell? Bats? Oh no, not bats again. This is truly this is this it's too close to home. Okay, here we go. Wait. We can unlock all their doors. Okay. Oh, it was just an example. It was just an example pamphlet of I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Okay, so George Carter is five four six three five four six three. Okay, then uh, Xavier, okay, Can you guys write this down George Carter five four six three Xavier is five two six two Andrew is ten forty and Fernando is ten ten And Michael me is six three nine zero as well Okay, I'm, I could just, I mean, I could take a screenshot. You guys got a print screen? Okay, now I'm ex Let's see, so... George Carter was the first one, was five... But, oh god, I went too far. Five... Four... Six, three... Five, four... Six... Three... Wait, what? There? Firm. Nice. Okay. This doesn't look right. Yeah. Okay. I need to find my own locker, maybe. I don't know if these. Maybe I just gotta unlock them all. Uh, Xavier was five, two, six, two. Yes. There we go. We get something. Whatever it is. I don't know what that is. Okay. Next one, Fernando, which is... Wait, who wrote down Fernando? No one wrote down Fernando? You guys, I'm disappointed. Andrew, though. Uh, oh, 10, 10. Thank you, thank you. Andrew is 10, 40. So... Oh, God. I can just keep rotating, it's fine. And... Oh, my God. And... 40. Wait, am I stupid? Andrew Anderson is 1040, right? Yes. Here we go. Shit, I'm messing it up. <laughs> what? Wait, am I messing it up? Is there... Wait, did we already find what we needed? Do we not need to open these? I hope this doesn't trigger the lady. I mean, we already got what we needed, so I don't think we have to open those anymore. Is there anything else? I mean, let's just open the last one. Why not? It's 1010. 10. Sure, what's the worst that could happen? N. N. There. This doesn't look right. Okay, so all of them were empty except the one. Uh oh. Oh, the door just opened. I thought the lady was coming in. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. Okay, so what else do we gotta do? We have something. Maybe we gotta put that in a machine. What's this? Uh, it happened. I need to read these. It happened again. Andrew, the weight of the sackle to unlock... Shackle? Sackle to unlock the modular container has been changed. And to top it off, the clumsy guy has broken the breakers. The beakers again? Sorry. Uh, there's only three left. One of them is on George's table. I'm leaving the total weight to open the container in Spain. Scale. Oh, that's scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, wasn't there a body on this table before when we entered there? The body is gone now. Uh, that's concerning. Okay. We have these. We can fill them with water. What do we got to do with that? I think it unlocks something. I think it unlocks something. We dip that in there. Do we need to make a specific amount? Where's Spain? What's this? Oh no, it's this puzzle. <laughs> Not this puzzle! I hate it here! Help! Okay. Oh my god, I hate these. 
I hate these with a passion. I had a Donald Duck one. It made me lose my mind, okay? Uh, we're going places, we're going places. Okay, this is not as hard as it could have been, hopefully. Uh, we need to go down, which is all the way up there. We. Oh my god. There. And then we need this. Oh, fuck. Wait, we need that one out of the way. Which, how the fuck are we gonna do that? Oh, we can make this one go up. This one, and then we just... Wait, I did it. I'm a genius. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Nice. And then we get this. Which is a little lady. A little lady character. Something that looks like it goes on a ship or something. Uh oh Don't you dare attack me. This was just a coach, right? In the wake of last meeting on Thursday, Direction has taken the this this decision. <laughs> There's something, uh, some 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 English mistakes. Uh, to re to re assig <laughs> re assig to reassign the lockers to know which ones correspond to who. Read this table. Direct. They just send all the codes and plain text to all the other people. What the hell? <laughs> it seems like a breach of privacy. Direction rec recommends you to change the password of your law. Oh, there we go. We won't take, pos take responsibility of any loss. Okay, so they had to change it, but they didn't do it. Nathan, have you seen the damage at the containment chamber? Keep the re keep with the remaining tasks until it is repaired. Last week, Savior received an electric shock because he was messing with the wires. Don't fret, though. He took the fuse out to avoid further accidents. Call me paranoid if you wish, but I think it was on purpose. Wires don't break by themselves. I have a bad feeling about this all. Okay. Uh, we found a fuse, I think. We just gotta fill it in and put it in somewhere. Uh, anything more to interact with here? Nothing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got the fuse. That's where- Oh, that's why he had the fuse, I see. Xavier had the fuse. Or did he? Not sure. Oh, here we go. This could, be useful. this could indeed be useful. Okay, so we need to solve this. How much do we need, though? It says something about Spain. Oh, here, maybe this. this. Anthony has messed it up again. We only have beakers of 25 milliliter and 33 milliliter and... F or N50. We have to ask Frank to order the remaining measures, okay? Does the fuse go in the hallway? We'll check. Give me a second. Um... There's only three left. One of them is on George's table. I'm leaving the total weight to open the container in Spain. I don't know what that means. In Spain? Let's check if we can put the fuse in. No, not in there. Any fuse box here? Oh, this? Oh, that's just the thing. I don't think there's a fuse box. Unless we can go out. No, we can't. We don't want to go back. Uh, we used it to solve this puzzle. Did we? Did we use the fuse over here? Oh, we did. Yeah, we put it in the top and then we had to solve the puzzle. Okay, so we actually already used the fuse. I see, I see. Uh, oh, here, Spain. In fact, I'm, I, see a, I see a map. I would hope that Spain is somewhere here. Nothing about Spain. Hey, any Spanish people in the chat? Oh, here. Neighbor fears after first cases reported near Burkittsville. Local health authorities call for urgent action by federal government. After the recent death of George Lutz, considered patient zero of the pandemic, hypotheses are opened as to how he could have contracted the disease that led him to a painful death. Authorities say this outbreak is spreading faster than usual. The first cases are already be being reported outside the city. And if forecasts hold true, new cases will be found outside... Frederick County within days. Authorities are calling for urgent intervention by the federal government as the insane as the insane will number in the thousands within hours, according to the deputy director of health. Health. Okay. Seems like a big problem. I guess that's why we went a little crazy, maybe. Oh here! Spain! Okay, so we need 183 times 0. 0 .1, or 0 0.01 what 183 times so wait we need 
We need 1.83? What? What? We need 1.83. Is that what we need? 1.83 liters, maybe? That would make sense. Okay, let's see. So then we would do this. What's the 33 one? Put that one in. Then we have one. And then this one is probably going to be the 33 one. So we put that one in. Is that one bigger than this? I think that's bigger than this. So we put that one in. Yes. And then we just do the 50 one again. Easy peasy. Uh, we did it. There we go. Nice. I heard something open. Something opened over here, no? Do I need this? I need to take this with me. Uh, I'm pressing E on it. It doesn't do anything. Okay, what did it open? Uh, blind? Oh, this. It opened this. Aha, the next part of the key. Uh, it went up the butt. <laughs> Excuse me. Now we unlock something. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, there's a... No, that door was always there. Never mind. What the fuck? Oh, God, she's coming! Run! Where do I go? Run! Oh, God! Oh, no, 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 <laughs> well, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, wait, we're back here. Wait, no fucking way, dude. We don't. Okay, no, we don't have to redo it all. I was like, holy shit, do we have to redo all of that? No, we don't. <laughs> okay, okay. Jesus Christ, man. Just got the shit out of me. Okay, yes, I do. Would like to cross the rift. We just have, we might have to open the things again, but that's totally fine. Those puzzles were fairly easy. What do, where do I have to go after that? I guess I might do, wait, what? Okay, so we do have to do this again. All right, well, let's rate this real quick. Blah, blah, blah. George's table. I know, I know this one. This one could be useful. And then who had the thing? Wasn't it you? Yeah, Xavier. So we need Xavier's code, which is... 7231 7231 Uh Wait, it was wasn't it was it Xavier? Yeah, you can see it in there. Can I just steal it through the wall? I can't. Uh seven oh seven I am stupid. Going too fast. Seven two three one Busy, busy. Give me that. Now we have to solve this damn puzzle again. I thought it saved in between every time you collected a key. Because it said save when I picked it up, right? When I pick up those things, it says save. So that's why I assumed. Uh, okay, move. Well, this is the easiest puzzle of all time. Uh, never mind. We could go straight. And then we just need to have this one over there. Oh god, now I have to rotate this. That's fine though. Boom. Boom. Uh, just go in a circle until it's in the right place again. There. Oh wait, fuck, now I lost this one. But I can steal that one. Gonna make place. And then we need... This one. Do, 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 do. Boom. There. And this. 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 Uh, I'm stupid. Never mind. Boom. 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 Okay. Uh, and then this puzzle was easy peasy. Wait, do we need to do anything else? <clears throat> Wait, wait, he left the solution somewhere else. Andrew, I'm leaving the total weight to open the container in the lungs. In the lungs? Oh, right here. Oh. In the lungs? 
Where are the lung? Oh, they. Sh oh. You might need this as well. Uh, where are the lung? There's so many lung pictures. It's not gonna be a 183 again, guys. It changes every time. Um. I am trying to. I mean, there seems to be lots of lung pictures. That seems like lungs as well. Uh. Oh, another thing. Uh, yeah, that's the one we already read. That looks like lungs as well. Is it in this thing? It wasn't last time. Anthony is messed up. Yeah, yeah. But... Uh, I don't know. There's... Oh, here. What? It's the... Wait, it is the... Ex Unless this is a different one. Wait, why is this lungs? This is a computer. That's not lungs. Wait, it's the exact same amount again? I guess. I guess. We'll try. Alright, here we go. Is it the code was different? You you were right. Indeed. Then Hopefully this works. And then we're gonna die again. So do we hide or do we run? We probably hide, right? We run and then we hide. Is that the right one? Yeah. There you go. Okay, so now please do not kill me. Here we go. Oh boy. Okay, so where do we gotta go after we go, we trigger the lady? I think we just... But if we run and hide here, then we're gonna be in trouble because how the fuck are we ever gonna get away? Do we just loop her? That seems like a bad idea. Like, where do I want to go? I don't know where I want to go with the key. I think we run and do hide. Well, we'll see. Is there a locker hiding spot? Can we hide in these lockers? We can't. There's no locker hiding. I think the only place you can hide... Is underneath this very table. This is the only hiding spot unless over here as well. Okay, over there as well. But we could hide here. This seems extremely dangerous, but let's see. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh my god! Go, 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 go. Okay, it worked. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, what do we do now? What do we do? Do I go back? I don't know. She's so close. Is she going over there? I don't even know where to go now. Seems so doomed. I think we might have to go back into the hole. She's coming past us. We know she's walking back that way. Uh, what? She's not walking? Is she just standing there? Uh, she's broken. Her AI is broken. She's stuck. Wait, where did she go? She's gone? Excuse me. She disappeared? I'm very confused what's going on right now. What do you mean? 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 Just run, 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 just
Is that how we got? Wait, is it full loop? It went full circle. This is how it started, right? With the with the thing. Unless no, there's more. Excuse me. Oh god. Uh, hi there. Jesus. Can we leave? Oh, here we go. Uh, I have all the keys. Yes. Unless there's going to be one more thing. And the last key. Oh, that was the door. I thought there was a scream coming from behind me. <laughs> what? Oh. Julia. Oh no. Why have you done that, Dad? I'm sorry, Julia. I never wanted this. Dad. What? What's happening to me? Dad, I can't reach you. I can't breathe. What? No! <laughs> Why does it say Julia! Spanish all of a sudden? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> oh, God! This game is very wild. <laughs> this game is crazy. Oh. And it loops. <laughs> I see. Because this is where we started, right? And oh, this is how we came to it. That's <laughs> we are hanging. I see. That's so cool. What a great game. Holy shit. Obviously, a few translation issues here. And some of the puzzles were a little confusing for me the first time. But that's the thing with puzzle games. Puzzles are always going to be a little confusing when you start out. But that was awesome. Genuinely, like super well made because there were also some audio balancing issues here and there like that final cutscene was super quiet whereas some cutscenes were super loud but that's all that's all nitpicks because the uh gameplay was very straightforward but what really kept me going was the promise of getting more of those story cutscenes because there was this really well made very epic so it seems like the story is that we got sick and then infected our child or something i don't really get the full story because <laughs> like we are obviously a scientist who are trying to figure out some kind of uh sorry some kind of cure for this disease that is spreading and our child somehow gets that disease maybe you can probably replay to get more lore but i think that's gonna be where we call it for this one very cool game uh do not open yeah that was awesome let me know what you thought maybe you know more about the story than i do <laughs> let me know uh down in the comments below uh, i enjoyed that a lot and i hope you did as well if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it just like it and if you want to join the lovely games here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash we'll click the link in the description down below and if you want to watch more escape room games like this not necessarily like this this was more horror oriented than that one but our secret below was very similar in that you are locked in a room and you have to escape and while escaping you figure out a lot of the story i'll link that video over in the top right if you want to watch it thank you so much i'll see you around bye guys have a good one bye bye <laughs>